Yo, what's up, guys? It's game time. It's Arena Kings Week 7. We got the two-hour arena. Of course, we on ChessCon Live. And Chess.com has the Grand Prix stuff going on here. So we're doing Arena Kings over here. Let me get some games up on the screen. Hold up, y'all. Let's see who here. And then we're going to see who's streaming. And we're going to get those boys up on the screen. This is uh, Gata Kamsky. As you see, Gata, Gata is playing uh, Chess Lover, that guy. Let's see, who's, uh, let's see who I can pull up and see who's streaming what. In the meantime, you can check out the games, what's going on, guys. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, let's see who is streaming Arena Kings. Let's see who's streaming. Vala. Yeah, this guy. He looks like he's streaming Arena Kings. We'll check him out. We're going to go over there in a minute. Let's actually see who that is. Vala BHTFT. Vala BHTFT. BFT, cool. That's with an A. Awesome. B H T F T. Okay, yep. Yeah, we in a week, uh, week seven, Arena Kings, guys. We got the two hour arena. It's gonna be weird. Uh and I say weird because there's a lot of players that aren't here that are usually in Arena Kings. So it's gonna be a mix up. It's it's like up in the air who's gonna get what and etc. It's gonna be kinda of cool to see. Um, um, this, this, uh, this week or today for Arena Kings to see who makes it to the finals and stuff today. So we're going to see what in the meantime, I'm actually going to pull up uh, a streamer here because this is Arena Kings streamers, right? The streamers thing. So we're going to pull up one of the streamers. This one is Vala BHTFT. You can check him out right here. Here he is. Not, not the ideal start. I am expected to be my Kings. Dude, I, I told you I told you I had to move my queen twice. Why are you all surprised now? You guys didn't see this? I told you. Let's move it twice. <laughs> it's okay. Calm down, calm down. That's right, that's right, Shakespeare. You tell them. Losers POV. How am I up a pawn? Yeah, uh huh. See, you you don't know you don't know the fourteen hundreds like I do. I'll teach you. It's okay. You keep watching. You know, you press that like, follow, subscribe button. You'll learn. You'll learn. It's okay. got to do what a man's got to do. That's right. You do have to do it. We also uh, just got to keep the speed up. And we're going to flag this guy. This could have taken a pawn. Oh, well. <laughs> I will take pawns. All your pawns belong to me. Every single one. How am I up a pawn? Because I'm the better player, Ilya Chess. Isn't that obvious? Cat beats a great emote. See you, shirts. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Oh, Wayne, thanks for the follow. I'm the better player, what do I tell you? I'm the better player. He ain't want the smoke. He ain't want the smoke. <laughs> okay, sir. I thought about making an NFT. No, no, LHS, you don't have to, don't worry. I, I understand you're surprised. It's it's a lot to take in. Especially for a player of your of your caliber. I understand you, you don't quite you don't quite grasp the depth of some of these moves. He did have made in like 10. <laughs> it's okay. Guy's coming for me. 
底里。I thought about making an NFT. Um, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that I've considered it. No, in the sense that I would never plausibly go through with it. <laughs> Am I mad? No, but thank you for asking. Let me know if there's anything else I can answer for you, pal. Oh, this is a bad move. No, why did I do this? Okay, wait. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why I did it. He ain't want the smoke. He ain't want the smoke. He knew. He knew. He knew. Oh, I'm tied for first, boys. Let's go. What? Where's my game? Oh, I'm still tied for first. <laughs> he knew. He knew. <laughs> So bad, thanks, dude. I do this, right? This has to work. This has to work. Where's my KO, dude? Oh, my queen's hanging. Okay, let's not hang that. All right, I need the speed. I need the speed. Man, it's hard to find these KOs, dude. I'm still in first, though. Let's go. Just kidding. Tied for first. <laughs> King's in a box. I mean, I don't know how he stops this, right? That's how. Am 
my queen stuck? Oh, I could have played this check. Why didn't I play this check first? I'm not drawing. Hell no. I win these. Even without time. No increment. No, I am- fuck! No time. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Damn it. <sighs> I deserve to lose that game though, honestly. <laughs> we, we deserve to lose that one. We almost had him though, almost. We had him sweating. Thank you, Mr. Mercenary. I praise from the mercenary. KO rescinded, unfortunately, yeah. Might as well ruin my king structure. Keep it for next time, thanks, yeah. Unfortunately, it wasn't wasn't meant to be today. That is a move. One's not looking so good. We can't go there. Ooh, ninety two would have been a nice multi purpose move. Patser's live. my guy thinking he does have some problems my intentions are both devious and yet obvious I'm not leading him on he knows what's coming he knows what's coming Oof. well that's a check isn't it Do I dare? There's no smother though. No smother. That's okay, we were at one point in first place in Arena Kings. Everybody everybody saw. I have all my witnesses here. 
Why this guy making good moves? What the? That's awkward. That's awkward. Uh, that's awkward. <laughs> Larissa, I do, I do uh, agree with you. The good news is that our win streak already broke, so losing this one's not the end of the world. I think this one's not too bad. There was no mate bunglet. I'll bet you any amount of money you want, but there's no smother there. You, the fact that you think there is a smother mate there and our self-proclaimed 1900 is worrisome. There's queen b1 at the end of that. this thanks for showing us around a little bit he's a very smooth stream right very smooth that's uh vala bh tft we're gonna actually move over to uh, as you see on the screen there jospom the man himself i gotta pull up his stream let me pull up him up real quick jospom i saw him over here i was like oh he changed his name so we're gonna pull up his stream and we're going to look at GM Jospel. That's where he goes by on his stream. Pretty cool. He changed the name out over here. But you see him on the screen right now playing. What is going on? Oh, my goodness. These knights here, these knights, and this bishop. This is insane here. Looks like black's just crushing, though, right? I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, yeah. He just took a piece. That's, that's GG. But we're going to see it from his point of view in a minute. What's up, Tunda Mike? Uh, shout out to the mods in the chat and everybody that is here. This is uh, Arena Kings Week 7. Two hour arena first. Let me get Jospom up here. He goes by uh, is it Twitch again. GM Jospom. Two M's. Got it. Two M's. Hey, sir. Can you do a sub, big fella? Para ver si se el mate. Check. Y uno mate. So he's actually in Spanish. Vamos. He's in Spanish here. Seguimos sumando. We'll check him out for a few minutes, though. Quiero clasificar rápido, necesito, tengo que hacer algo y quiero hacerlo. Vale. El F4 es muy rara, pero bueno, de alguna forma lo molesto. Ahora, F6 es mala porque tengo peón por Ojo que acá se está, se está loqueando un poco el chico. Tiene H6. Eh. Ah, este es, el, este es un chico que juega más o menos bien. Es eh, muy un juvenil. Bueno, es lento, pero o sea, el nivel que tiene es mucho más. Pero en lentitud sí es muy lento. Pero juega bien. Juega bien, juega bien. Lo malo. Hay que pensar ahora. Bueno, vamos a hacer esto. Bueno, lento, lento, no, no, no sé si es, pero... Vamos a ver si es que... Lo jugaremos de una forma extraña esto. Jugar de una forma... Básicamente extraña. Vamos a hacer rey H1 quizá. Bueno, ya me hace eso y... No sé... Siento que acá esto no, esto no pasa de las tablas, si es que él quiere o yo quiero. Esto no va a pasar de las tablas, me parece. Puedo hacer G4. Que los tíos acá juegan muy sólidos, no quieren perder nunca. Se me ha sorprendido porque no debe ser buena, a mi parecer. Rey G2, caballo H2. Tengo una táctica acá, siento que acá se está colgando todo, pero no veo nada. 
Siento que ya está perdido porque se, las piezas así no me, no me parecen correctas. Siento que hay algo, algo como alfil por H6, yo qué sé. Debe haber algo, pero no, no lo veo. Se está colgando ahora. Alfil por G5, si G5, torre por F3 de milagro se salva. Pero ese, esa posición me gusta de cierto punto. No, es que, es que está jugando por jugar aquí, me parece. Era caballo H4, me gusta mucho. Y era después caballo F5, de Amapor. A ver, caballo F5, caballo F4, peón por, peón por, o alfil por, peón por. Ah, tío, está jugando por jugar. ¿eh? No, yo no le creo nada. Bueno, pero esta no, es buena, pero no sé qué tanto. Va, da igual. Si como acá, le como acá y estoy presionando esto. Hubiera preferido a cualquier otro. Este chico juega bien. Hubiera preferido a cualquier otro. Un 2400 normal de chef.com no, no hace estas jugadas. Pero este chico no tiene 2400. Juega mucho más. Um, pero acá tengo, no sé. ¿O tengo algo aquí? ¿Qué quiere hacer? Puedo hacer rey h2. Está mal, pero no sé cómo continuar esto. Caballo por y un final este. Sé que ese final no me agrada tanto. Se, parece que se va a defender y eso. No estoy con ganas de jugar un final. No, la más G4 es mala por caballo GF6 y pierdo toda la partida, ¿no? Vale. Si me hace C4, bien, porque tengo aquí el B4. A ver si se equivoca. Vale, vamos a comer, no queda más. No puedo hacer caballo G4. No quiero cambiarle los caballos aún. Voy a cambiar una torre y jugar con la otra torre en la columna. Eso me parece excelente. Mira, quizás se cuelga cosas. Esto, esto lo tengo que ganar sí o sí. O sea, está, está ganado, pero... Tengo caballo G5 amenazando. Se va a dar cuenta, obviamente, porque está ultra concentrado. Está, está dando la partida de su vida, seguro, pero... No se va a colgar cosas así. Ah, está bien esto. Ya. Yeah. Aquí tengo que hacer G4. No me gusta hacer G4. Aún no. Dame a B5 aquí. Mm. Estas jugadas raras. Jugadas muy raras. Pero sí voy a hacer G4. No quiero ponerme a tiro de nada. No, estoy jugando muy lento, tío. Debo ganar esto ya. Ay, ay, ay. Muy mal, muy mal. Por no ganar tan rápido. Voy a arribar. Aquí por G5. Mm. Juega muy raro el tío. Ciertas partes de la partida. Pésimo, pésimo. Horrible. Vamos a jugar la dronía, no la misma. Ya me la habrán visto todo. Esta está bien, creo. Oh. Sí, ya la, ya la han revisado muchos. O Esa es la que me jugó Andre King y me ganó. No por la no por la apertura, sino porque jugaba mejor que yo. Pero acá hay algunos. Sí, me jugó igualito. De 4 va a comer con dama. Con peón. Con dama, sí. Fue la misma. 
Ahora, él no es Andrei King, es el de bueno. Uh, no me gusta. Vamos a llevar el caballo por acá. Primero torre 1. Va el caballo ahí. Yo no me la conocía. Bueno, ponerle la dama acá, buscar el cambio. Si cambio al field es todo felicidad. Va a comer y hacer el field de 3. Lo veo muy raro. Vale, vamos a comer aquí. Um, no sé. Quizás caballo H2. Quizás. Caballo H2, pero caballo 3 me gusta también. Ay, caballo 3 es muy fácil, no sé por qué. Y ahora me la sopea un por de repente, pero la idea es llevar la dama por acá. Llevar la torre acá me gusta. Ahora, si me comen acá me molesta. Entonces voy a llevar la torre acá un poco. Ahora debo hacer algo como caballo H4 y buscar el mate. Siento que su rey está muy débil. Ya va a haber un tema táctico. Um, comer con dama no me gusta. Tengo que comer con peón. Ahora G4 lo veo muy bien, pero tiene rey, torre H8, rey G2. B3, imagino. Se va a caer este peón, ¿no? Bueno, me lo como. Ahora, este tío tiene trucos. Tiene truquitos. Es un peón de más, pero no, no me convence todo. Está ganadísimo, pero no es la partida que diga voy a ganarlo ahora. Tengo que mejorar las piezas y todo eso. Bueno, ahora son dos peones. Pero igual... Se rinde, vale. El alfil es muy bueno, o sea, si mantenía eso, era muy bueno. Pero... A ver, este es un niño, ¿no? Este es un problema, porque este chico no está transmitiendo en la vida, pero que okay, va a molestar mucho. Bueno, estamos bien. Por ahora sumando todo lo que se puede. Vamos a ver si se cuelga. Uy, mi peón. No, este tío es teórico, ¿ah? ¿eh? Este niño es teórico, me cago en todo. Ahora todos saben todo Este niño se la sabe todas ¿Cómo es eso? Lo hizo rapidísimo Ni, 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 ni titubió al, al momento de, de, de capturar Ahora, esta posición la veo excelente Siendo sincero La veo muy bien Pero hay que no, no joderla por ahí. Ahora H5 Pero ahí tengo que pensar muy bien qué hacer ¿Es H5, G4, F4 o preparar torre 3, torre acá? Tengo que ser inteligente F4 dama de 7 sin duda G4 torre H8 va a venir Sé lo que me molesta Estas posiciones que... O sea, es torre acá primero Luego llevar la dama por F4 Si hace dama de 7 tengo E6 ahora Así que no puedo hacer casi nunca eso Sí, va a ser eso Pero tengo el fil C2, el fil por de repente el fil por G6 um, este, este niño no le importa nada El este niño te come todas las piezas y... Importa menos que nada Este niño es muy molesto De repente no es un niño, de repente es un cheater Que ha puesto en la foto de cualquier persona De repente es eso That's Jose, Jose Martinez. That's the man himself. We, we had to see a little bit of him, of course, because he's very strong. Don't understand what he's saying, but I understand his chess. Right, definitely. So we're going to pull up uh, Mr. Grandmaster Arutanian. I hope I'm saying this right, Tunda Mike. Arutanian? Arushnian? Something like that. But he's a chess.com streamer. He's usually on late. And so it's pretty cool to see that he's streaming right now, actually. I'm going to pull him up. You can see him right there on the screen. But I'm not sure how I'm saying his name right. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. But Arush, Aruchinian? Mm -hmm. Aru <laughs> man, I know, like, like, he definitely, man, all his life, like, he just messed his name up, right? I'm sure that's not the easiest to pronounce. So, but he's very, very strong. And he's a streamer, too, guys. Make sure you guys give him... You're saying it better than I can. <laughs> yeah, Mike, yeah, definitely. Well, he's, he's a streamer, actually. He's, he's usually on really late in the Eastern hours, on the Eastern time. But uh, surprised to see him on right now, so we're going to actually check him out right here. Uh, right now, guys, we got about 90 minutes left, so still very early, actually, when it comes to Arena Kings. This is week seven, two-hour arena. Let's check out the man himself. Make sure you guys uh, give him a follow as well. Idiot. Idiot. No. Okay, not so big idiot. <laughs> 40 seconds. Bad position. Ooh, rook 
g7 oh 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 King a6, knight c7, or king b8. He has 10 seconds. It's important to just not receive checkmate. Yeah, this is best move, maybe. Check. Uh, What to do? Flak. <laughs> Fuh. Fuh. Sorry for if I didn't see in look in the chat. Why are I so nervous? <laughs> Who knows? Long time not play, that's it. No time to talking in chat. Sorry for that. Pam 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 pam. Mm-hmm, castle. Bishop e7, stay right, queen c2. Okay, so queen c2 I play to take here. Rook d1. I don't know, maybe queen e2 is better instead of bishop f5. I prevent c4 and also I want to play bishop a6. I don't know, bishop f5. Or bishop a6. Bishop a6 idea, then okay, hey, bishop a5. It looks like better. Thank you, <laughs> Isabel Jan. <laughs> okay. Okay. You think that moment what he can't take? I should. I want to play f4, but there is knight e4 can be in some moment. That's why I'm. I'm not sure about f4. Uh, bishop d6. For bishop d6, I will play f4, for sure. If he take, I will take. Again, e4 squares, of course, is weak, but I'm not sure. Take. Mm -hmm. So now, but how he should defend his knight? <coughs> Maybe rook d8 he want to do. Maybe, but then it's knight b5. Quite, quite dangerous. He should play knight f8. Oh, yow. I think he lost. No? Why he do that? Bishop here, and he resigned. Nice. Chess heroes comp in the first places here. Okay, so. Hey, Ellen Music, hi. Yes, I'm back. Okay, again against him? I play against him already. Two games? Mm-hmm. Param 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 pam pam. Defense my knight. Defense. No sum. <coughs> Tax. 
knight h5 with idea knight f4, right? Let's, I will do bishop f1 first to prevent any attack. I need to develop bishop e3 too. Queen h4, right? Bishop e3. Because queen h4, I have g3 move. And then queen g2 defended. I want to also play queen d2 to take on the control of these squares. And if he, yeah, if he play a5, you know what? What if I, oh, knight b5, uh, what if I play knight b5? Because it's quite dangerous, should be for him too. Bishop d7, now interesting. Queen f2, maybe. Yeah, let's do queen f2, maybe. To make pressure. Uh, much easier, I don't know is, which is much easier, to be honest. <coughs> okay, now, maybe rook b1 first, to defend it. What if I play b4, c6, c6 possible, but I want to play b4, right? Oh, knight d4 he want to do. Maybe queen f2 was not the best. Can it be? It can be quite dangerous, to be honest. Right. Blind chess. Yes, Ellen Music, I'm tried. Blind chess. Hmm. Rook a8 he want to do. I don't like it, you know. You know what? I will play g3 first. Why I play g3, I will explain, because it was some queen h4 idea. Idea and id5. Mm -hmm. Rook c1, defense. If something I can have, rook c2. Okay, not good. Okay, back. <coughs> rook a3. Oh, before I can't. Oh, sherry, sherry. Knight d5, knight d5, c takes d5. Nope. <laughs> I don't like it. Ay, 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 ay. Time, time, time. Before bishop c3. Okay, queen c2. Simpler. I don't like it, my position. Lost many tempo and time. <coughs> Maybe bishop g2, I need to play, and bishop f2 once. To defense my center. Maybe he need okay. Bishop f2. I don't want it's under attack here. Knight h5, knight d5. Also, I have knight e2, but this okay here, knight d5. Mm -hmm. Oh, g3 pawn under attack. What I'm doing, idiot. Ay, 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 ay. Also badly. Very badly. Rook A2. I have some check. Knight F6, King F8. Yeah, only that's where I was. Queen H2. And, oh, mate, it's, it's mate. It's a mate. Okay, let's try. Mm 
No, this is losing position, unfortunately. No, this is resign. Now, nope. very sad. <coughs> very sad. Sviatoslav Kornev, sad. It was nice game, but yeah. I like it English. I like it English. Bishop e6. f6. a5, b5, knight d4. I think queen c8. It was correct move. So idea there what after e3. Okay, not e3 he play. I will play rook d8. Knight d5. A4 to take and control the squares. This position I I want to play as white to be honestly, but when I start analyze it, I saw my position is not so good as white. <laughs> okay, once king h8. Why king h8? Because um, I want to play somewhere bishop b3, and I don't want it. He will take. Generally, he can take, and then uh, it will be by check. So what another move? I have knight d6, rook a5. These two idea what I have here. Knight d6. Maybe bishop a1. He will play knight. Oops. Yeah, that's what I mean. Take. Bishop e4. And queen h5. Oh, that will be dangerous. Okay, f5. f5 and bishop f6. That should be nice. e4, f4. Keep close lines. Queen e6 now. Because queen e6, queen b3 also possible. Knight d5. Aha. Uh -huh. This move I miss. Not give him chances to play bishop e4. So he can play queen h3 with idea bishop e4 and play for checkmate. Actually not so nice, you know, this queen h3. <sighs> okay, how I can defend myself? Rook is good, but rook is not works. Rook a5, rook b5 I have. Queen b5, bishop e4. Queen d7, queen h5, right? Maybe g6, rook a5 in g6. This bishop under attack. If take, h take, g3 take. Um, not nice, I don't like it. And I couldn't find good move, you know, that's his problem. Okay, repeat once. Okay. Play for win. <coughs> I need to play queen f7. Once bishop g7. <coughs> okay, rook f8. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tired from this. He has many weaknesses, so. Rook b1 idea. Oh, that should be nice now. That should be nice now. It's a check, and I want to take here. No, 
not need to rush king. Tak, rook e5. Rook e5, bishop g6. Okay. <coughs> yep, that was nice. I'm number five, right? Mm -hmm. Me terrible. Oh, night twenty nine hundred. Me terrible. Ah, uh, okay. Very nice game there. Very nice game from him. We actually are going to pull up, as you see, I got a Kamski here. That man is legendary, as we all know. So, got a Kamski is a streamer, um, too. If you guys didn't know, I'm gonna pull up his stream in a minute here for you guys. But we got what seventy five minutes left, and then a uh, top sixteen. They go to the knockout portion, you know. So let me set him up real quick. IGM got a Kamski. Got a Kamski. Perfect. Yeah. So we're just going to wait for this to load, wait for the little ad. So, yeah, but we got the streamer said, What's up, Mr. Kusha? What's good, big fella? I see you in the chat. Let's go. What up, bro? Good to see you, bro. There he is. Okay. Kamski stream is up. And good, so you can see it from his point of view. Um, he loves a lot of London systems. So if you're a London player, you like any type of London system, that man is legendary with it. Um, I even covered a uh, series we did for YouTube before, and it was all all Gata stuff. Gata's the man. Here we go right here. Actually, this is very interesting, yeah? King G7 is coming. King G7 is coming. Still has a drop roll, yeah? Uh, how do I make this? Okay, I probably don't, don't make it. Okay, fine. Okay, hmm. Probably I'll make it then. Uh. Yeah, I thought that was better, but it's very tricky. Yeah, all the Bachani players, they play c5. I'm gonna go into this thing, yeah. Oh, I 
like this. So he's saying I should have uh, played differently. Yeah. So take, 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 take. Still looks better for white, yeah. Still looks better for white. A little bit tiny, a little bit better for white. A little bit bit. He opens my rook. I'm very happy with that. Okay. Why not knight c6 to win the rook? Draw an endgame. Hey, Ali Carlson, what's up? How are you? Uh, yeah, it was probably still draw. <laughs> Pretty much it's draw all the time. Right, I'm in the position number 50. I'm not very happy about this. Too happy about that. Pinky and the brain. Dun, 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 dun. One is a genius, another is insane. The pinky, the pinky and the brain, 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 brain. Hmm. Just give him the spawn because the Russian FMs, especially untitled players, are very sneaky guys. Yeah, we all know that that they are very very sneaky guys. So, so have to be very careful when you play these guys. G5 some point maybe. Which looks very bad to me. Looks 
looks very bad to me. a lot of time on his moves, yeah. Spends a lot of time on his moves in this complicated position. So I have rook d7 maybe. Probably would have been a little bit better. I don't like my knight on e3 though. night Probably should have been a draw, yeah. Yet another Azerbaijani player. Stop this. 
Passion. He probably wants to win this, but I don't think he can. Wow. Queen d7. Queen e8. Is that what I blundered, as usual? Blunders, queen d7, my god, queen blunder, queen e8. <sighs> yikes, yikes, that hurts, it hurts to lose, especially like that, man, dang, he goes down, gotta goes down in that game, but there's a lot of time left, we're actually gonna pull up another streamer here, actually, who is, um, uh, doesn't stream as much, but he's on chess.com here, and... He is playing is actually a feeding master Kevin Cupid here who's in 16th place. He may actually have a chance here to compete with some of these big dogs here. We also have, uh, see, uh, Renato came out of nowhere too as well. We're going to pull him up. 
I don't know if we can get his stream going too. Let me pull him up. Uh, this is a uh, Trini Cupid here. Is what it. What's his name? What is his stream? Let's get that up. How much time we got left? Fifty-four minutes, guys. Fifty-four. Trini Cupid. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Sweet, that works. We're good. All right, yeah, let's get him set up in a second there, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Week seven, Arena Kings. We got the 16 player knockout. Jospam's here as a go go. And uh, that's, I mean, that's it that I see as heavy hitters. I mean, isn't like the big GM names you would see, right? Hikaru's not there. And uh, Naradisky, where's Min Lei at? Like, where are these people at? Well, we know, he, we know where Hikaru is and a few others. But as you see, guys, it's um, you know, it's it's gonna be a shakeup. I don't really know who's going to be in the knockout. That's gonna be fun. Hopefully, it's not like a blowout. Like one person get in there, like Jospam, and Jospam is a goal call. I mean, it's gonna be annoying because if if Jospam's a clear favorite, he's just gonna run through the whole competition kind of thing, right? You know what I mean? Jospam was up to number one. Yeah, time to Mike. What's up? Thanks for uh, keeping the chat. And everything good. I'm waiting on this um, ad for Trini Cupid stream. We're gonna pull him up in a second here. Nice four ads, great. Check, move around, king up, check, draw. Oh, oh, he's going for the flag. Oh, he's going for the dirt, the filthy flag. Oh, <laughs> he hung his rook. He hung the rook. Wow, white is going to win now. Look at that. Mm -mm. Hurts, right? Oh, my goodness. He's going to flag. Wow. Wow. Well, actually, here's a stream. You can actually hear it from him uh, right now, actually. Just being you. So target screen for sure, bring our bishop to b2. And complete my development. Alright. Bring this knight around. Can do a better job across here. And just play h3, prophylactic, make sure my king has a little square. So tag there, we play bishop takes. I guess I could push pawn. I don't see why I can't. Can I push pawn? Pawn takes, rook takes. Why not? I play knight takes also. I like knight takes more. It's aggressive. You gotta play fast though. Yeah, let's say knight takes. Maybe hmm. Tag that bishop, right? Either we attack that bishop or attack that queen. Something gotta be attacked. Tag that queen again. Why not? Let's go. Stick. This is our idea. Maybe you should play queen here. Come on, give me a break. Why are you all so boring? He wants to move his bloody knight. Shit. So attack this bishop. Let's get rid of that bishop and put my bishop on F3. Get him to move that bloody bishop. Oh, he wants to move this knight here, this T. Um, hmm. Hmm. <sighs> so annoying. If I play here, he has knight there. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll attack the pawn then. So 
tag the pawn. I can't play passive in this position. I have to play very active chess. Let's bring our rook here. Let me hear you say, please, let me hear you say. So I'm playing some quality chess for you guys. Hope that lights you up. Let's go for this pawn. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Still attacking this, right? Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go for this. He's gonna push. I think my next move is gonna be knight c6. I re he has no checks yet. Well, if I move the bishop, then he has a check, right? So. Wow. He decided to put his knight here. So he's giving me this pawn. Why? I mean, if he's giving me the pawn, he's giving me the pawn. Why should I? Be thinking a whole day about it. He's gonna dominate the knight and the bishop though, so I need to get a nice little trip. Um, put my knight here. He could take and actually we're back to just equal position. Uh, attack. Oh, he played there. I think that was bad. Because that allows me to get this move. Alright, uh, this is just a draw. I don't know. This is wasting time. Of course, my opponent still plays. Okay. I guess he wants to win on time. Gladly take that pawn. Rook takes. Come on. Let's push. Man, I like I like how he's playing though. Alright, just push. Yeah, this is nice chess, definitely. Yeah, you're gonna win on time. Definitely gonna win on time. Annoying, jeez. Alright, fine. I offer no draws in the future. Because it's just a clearly drawn game. I offer no draws in the future. I'm so behind in points now for the arena. It's annoying. Where's everybody? I don't hear nobody in the chat. I think I was gonna reach 2400, man. What's up, Arcade? Stream is so quiet. Talking to the Eclipse, that's a good question. I don't know where Eclipse has been. Hmm. I do these things annoy me so much. Get my queen here. It's like an Eclipse. <laughs> She needs to play F6. I 
I don't know what. I feel comfortable. Keep attacking us. Bring my knight in here. Alright. Wow, this is gonna get scary for her. I think I wanna give up this pawn here. Yeah, I think I wanna give up this pawn. Unless I play like F3. F3 looks even more adventurous. Let's, let's go F3. I'm pretty sure this move was very strong. But let's go F3. Now when she pushes this pawn, I have discovered attacks on the bishop. Alright, we gotta follow up. That's what's up. Alright. Um I'm gonna play. Thanks to the follow. Definitely gonna see some kind of queen side castle. Who's our new follower? Um, for many days. Thanks to the follow. Appreciate. How you doing? Trying to play some strong chess here. Let's take and take. When times are this looks winning or close to winning. I get the white square bishop. Either that or this. Hmm. This looks real scary, man. Night check. Night takes. If I take, I'm attacking the queen, but he goes back and defending the bishop. Hmm. Hmm. Why does this look so bad for my opponent? I can't spend all the time on it though. I'm gonna play check and take. So white square bishop. I wanna take, but you can just drop back the queen somewhere, right? Take the white square bishop after and try to get to the dark square somehow. Like queen here and then queen there. But my king is so exposed. I'll just take this. And I think here, I'm gonna go for this pawn. Takes, um, oh he has queen a7. Ooh, queen is seven is scary. I don't know why I survived queen is seven. Because it threat. Ooh. Ooh. I don't have a choice. I have to protect the a7 square. This looks bad. Oh boy, I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this shit. Oh, what to do here? Really don't know what to do here. What the frick? This freaking girl castle. Jeez. Definitely gonna see queen check. Still gonna see queen check. Yo, this is ridiculous. Come on. Yo, could you eat the bloody, eat the queen? Jeez, this is so annoying. Give me a freaking break. Give me a break! Ah! Jeez! So annoying! <laughs> that was crazy. He somehow got the game. Whoa. He got the game. He won the game somehow, some way, steal. That was insane. Check out Chess Brainiac, the kid.
gonna go over his stream. Chess Brainiac. Let's pull him up. That was crazy. That game was crazy. Chess Brainiac 13. Okay, here he is. Chess Brainiac 13. Yeah, we got 39 minutes left. 39 minutes left, guys, and then we're gonna have the knockout portions of Arena Kings in week seven. Let's go. The conversion was so horrible, but we got the win. This guy's not cheating. Again, he's got zero points, so he just literally came into the tournament for no reason. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. B4, really? Something is going on here, folks. I can already tell. Something is going on here, folks. Very interesting moves, eh, Jessica? Really, uh, really putting on a clinic here. Andrew Mike, what's up, man? I'm on the main channel. Go Chess TV. Go Chess.com. Go followers. Head on over to the Twitch channel and drop a follow. <laughs> Check. Hello? Or maybe I'm not even the winner. Maybe I'm not even winning. Wait a second, wait a, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You're telling me this is not winning? I don't, I don't believe that. Get him out of here! Wait, I actually missed that. Hold on. It has to be winning. Okay. Ricardo, good luck. Let's play the Andrew Tang set up here. Takes interesting. I'm gonna take with a pawn. Probably not right, but meh. It's interesting. 
Should I rather go here? H6 maybe? Very interesting play from my opponent. Doing some very suspicious stuff here. What am I doing? My bishops here are ready to say hello, eh? <laughs> Once I open up these bishops. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. For starters, queen h6. Wait a second. I know this is wrong. I just need to take my time. Let's go here. Should be GG. Bg5, G6, queen f6, queen g7, takes, takes. This should be trap. Should be winning. I mean, this is his only move, right? Thanks, Tundra Mike. Yeah, I'm, uh,. I'm doing my best here. I know, I know Jessica, I'm trying to bait him. I'm trying to bait him. Guys, guys, I'm trying to bait him. I, I know there's man in one. I'm trying to bait him here. But you guys ruined it. <laughs> you guys ruined it. I, I was trying to bait him. I, I was trying to bait him. You guys ruined it. All right, now I'm up a piece. Wait, now I get my uh, my bishops open, eh? Or Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man, it's been a long tournament. It's been a long tournament. Oh my god. Okay, game's not over. It's been a long tournament. Brutal. Such a good game. Brutal. That's pretty heartbreaking. Ryan, it's been a long tournament, bro. Relax. How do I swindle him? I want him to get nervous. Prage? Chat, everybody Prage.
We got him! We got him! Let's go! Never in doubt! Never in doubt! What a game! What a game from the kid! Oh wow! The kid! Yeah, he closed that boy out and was able to get that game. That's a big boy game from the young fellow there. 29 minutes left. We got Arena Kings week seven. Sheesh, that was crazy. Now we're going to pull up uh, WGM Adriana, who is playing right now. WGM Adriana. Yeah, okay. Um, perfect. Crow, her stream's up and running. She's playing some Arena Kings too. Uh, so let's see uh, what she has for us. Yeah, I plan to solve also several tactics, maybe. Maybe one hour tactic and then two hours, and then one hour arena could could be also a good option. Good practicing. Hmm. 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 960 lesson. I think I need a lesson too. <laughs> I need a lesson too. We need some strategy, guys. So maybe uh, this could be useful. We need some um, rules, some opening uh, tricks. Oh! Queen b2, rook c2, anyway, queen was trapped. Uh, there isn't knight c3, only one move, counterattack. Oh, oh, oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can give you um, I can give you several recommendations. Of course, uh, what is not good to do, <clears throat> what is not good to do, maybe this could be also useful. <laughs> mm. So I beat two thousand um, six hundred for eighteen moves. And I lost from 2300 for even less moves. I think Knight C3 was good counter attack, to be fair. I've got French now. French. Twenty six more minutes. Maybe everyone can join, guys, and uh, you can you can also practice here. But the tournament is rated. Mm. A strong tournament arena. I was hoping for a better result, but. Hmm. Oh, if you're not first, you're last. Oh. Hope so not. <laughs> Hope so not. Yes, of course. E four is much more, um, much more open open positions. If you're good in tactics, you have to go for open positions, of course. Sometimes you really need to change something in the total in the opening repertoire. Every time my questions are, do you want to update totally your opening repertoire? Or you know, you want to change uh, some more variations of? Some people say, no, no, my, um, I think so. I have no problems in the opening part. But of course, this depends of uh, later your style. If you go in opening positions, or if you go in a close position, or semi-opened at the beginning of the game.
Okay, I, I know, I know. This is not okay, but I'll try. I'll try to just win a pawn. That's awesome. Captain August, that's awesome. Mm, hope so soon we can see the results too. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, lines are lines, but you should be able to practice them. Should have this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, remember them yes um this is this is very very um this is the hardest part maybe that's why just able or having these old courses repeating repeating I have the feeling that maybe for some people it's really the best i mean it's more about discipline if you if you call yourself yes today i'm gonna study that i'm gonna know that i'm gonna go for Nijdorf with f3 Tomorrow I'm gonna go for an ice door for A4. So it's all about discipline. It's not so much about studying by that it's hard to study. It's about discipline that you prefer to play than study. Mm. I mean I don't talk about you, I talk about everyone. It's also for me. Okay, easy game to finish my dinner. I think I want a piece here. All right. I have the feeling one more time that we need a, one more um actually two more stronger players for 960 and one more for the for the blitz will be nice mm, black <coughs> black side <coughs> <coughs> oh. Oh. <coughs> okay. <coughs> this is good. <coughs> it's going where where you sh it shouldn't. Wow! What what the hell is doing this guy? How sharp he is playing. <coughs> <coughs> Uh oh, I went to the. <coughs> it's tactic. It's tactic seems to be easy. Oh, I lost something. Um, mm, I hate this position, of course. But queen d7, queen. No, I should go here and hope so not to become a checkmate in two. Okay, now I'm able to play Queen seven because if he captures, <coughs> um, well, I can keep my bishop, but fast draw. Hmm. Hey, hey, X back. How are you doing? Maybe we're able to start. Faster with 960. You check out some um, strategy for 960, maybe. I think I'm okay to play here now. Mm. 
It's gonna be a very sharp game. List of current sub. No, but you can make a comment like that, user. And then you can write down the user. <coughs> Sorry. There is a comment user. And then you can write down the user. Um, some people are not really current uh, subs of two months, let's say. So we cannot really take everyone. This queen is a bit trapped, but of course he've got support here of the knight. And this is now totally crazy, yeah. All right. <clears throat> three, four, three, two. Ah. <clears throat> wow, uh, I is sacrificing too much. Wow, what's what's going on here? Bishop seven or Q one is not existing. I think I should develop one day, otherwise... Oh, he's able to trade off everything. Oh no, I don't want to let him to do this. But knight f6 checkmate, otherwise I have no choice. <coughs> okay. Hmm. You learn how to guess, okay? <laughs> yeah, we can take a look at some more strategy, what to do in 916. I think uh, Jaxer was a huge specialist in atomic chess well this is not atomic i know but <clears throat> fast and furious fast and furious I guess I have to play for a draw. I don't really have a different choice here. Even playing for a draw, it's a hard job. Right. Just, 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 just. Who oh, hear me? Yeah, I, I'm lost here. Pretty strange. This guy is playing in a hyper bullet style. <coughs> okay. Next Grandmaster. Easy job. Let T. 2800 from Argentina. Finally, I can guess moves. Against lower rated, I can never guess. I can never guess. <clears throat> Eat a salad for the towel? Oh my gosh. Lucky Fritter. Yeah, I was asking also Lucky Fritter. I think we need a maximum two more players. So. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> yeah, I hope so. He <clears throat> goes back. Goes back home um, <clears throat> in a safety way. Home country, yeah. I thought he's going to live there. <laughs> you can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> If you want to exchange, I think this is pretty good when I exchange. I don't feel in trouble when I exchange. So much move 16 Paso. So they're gonna be proud of me. <laughs> um all right, let's push. Let's trade off this man. Oh, he led me to capture. This is so polite.
Hmm. <coughs> Wait, he didn't care about bishop c5. Take, take the knight. Maybe it's a quite good. Or oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe bishop f6. So simple move. Take, take, take. Well, this is simpler because I'm I, I'm able to keep going with this attacking. I'm able to keep going with this attacking plus this attacking. It's awesome move. Bishop c5. Why I see much more the strongest move uh, against strong stronger opponents. Question is why. Probably I'm I'm just more inspired, I guess, to calculate more. And now after d4, I I'm pretty sure he miscalculated d4. He just lose. He just lose. Offer me draw. Okay, should I accept? He blunder. Nothing to lose. Let's say I lost enough games. Why should I accept this draw? Why should I accept this draw? It would be five. He's able to win on time, but. <clears throat> All right. I want a pawn just. Kill for me, drone. Be simple exchange. Try to not lose on time. <clears throat> this bishop is also out. A little bit. I have to generate a good strategy. What could be a good strategy? Give him a check. Operate by my king too. All right. He's going to win on time. Oh, he won't dare. Uh oh, I lost everything. I lost really everything now. It's not so good. From totally winning position. Totally winning. Anyway. I totally outplay him, extra pawn in the end game, but the time. The same guy who I beat for 18 moves. Well, doesn't really matter. I was totally winning. Doesn't matter of the opposition. If I have uh, two seconds increment, he would not survive. No way. Mm. <clears throat> oh, look at Raider! Hey, hey, how are you doing? Technique in the end, but it's technique when you have incremented. In the other hand, I cannot call. I cannot call losing on time technique because it's not. I'm just blundering based on the time pressure. Why not G? Oh, I think I have to protect the bishop somehow, maybe. Just like that. It's ugly, but I I gotta make it. Hmm. Wait, why not exchange? It's gonna be good. I can operate by my knight like that, or it's gonna be dream. Be dream. Two here. Two here. I'd go home back, but come on, this cannot be cannot be good. He's uh, optimistic. He's optimistic. I can <clears throat> organize my pieces maybe faster than than him on the king side part. Like capture kinky shade and rook g8 now. We came at the same time. It's interesting. 
we came at the same time now uh or he doesn't have connected rooks and i i'm having this is a huge difference between hmm maybe push <sighs> hmm picture in discord ah uh, which picture my caricature you like it okay let's try to close here hey kirik how are you doing don't i didn't see you yeah some people came then disappear then forget about me <laughs> uh yeah oh maybe it could be good oh yeah i'm threatening a mate on the on the other file too you're all right be good yeah I guess so. Guessing moves is also not so correct because the tournament is rated. I was searching for access of that. Rook g3. Be interesting. Now g5 is really nice. If he just simple protect f3, what's going on? Okay, let's go here. I like that move. We we are able to go to the queen end game now. Queen Bishop against knight. <laughs> yeah, not so. Nothing. Nothing improved of my side. Maybe there's no improvement. Let's make a draw. Why not? It's two six rated player. Oh, he doesn't. We should draw. All right. All right, man. Throw up. Oh, actually, he's able to win on time in a way, so. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> oh, I think he has to... Uh-huh, okay. Oh, just move the queen here, 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 here. What's up? Here. So playing here like we move. He's able to trade off, of course, but bring. Oh, I think this is not okay for him. Shouldn't be okay. Able to keep. Yes, I can try. Oh, I think it's bad for him. Come on. Oh, I have no more checks on this side. Oh. Oh, I didn't see this check. Oh my gosh. Uh, he's able to win on time. Oh, this was sneaky. I didn't see this check. I could give a diagonal check. Ouch. This game hurts, but five more minutes to the end. Anyway. Not enough concentration after eating. Hey, Harry Balls. How are you doing? <laughs> we can't forget about sunglasses mom give me up i gotta give you up don't worry don't worry come to me just i'm gonna give you up let me qualify i think this guy could be cheater and how he's going to qualify which place he is oh 39 points He's uh, currently 49th place. Wow. Okay. Let me win. Wow. If I copy this message to chess.com, uh, because you guys are supposed to see it also, yeah? If I copy this message, what do you think so about this guy? He will be automatic bound. 
uh, he has to be because uh, the such a questions are please okay he can he even continue yeah wow um uh, Oh, I don't like to waste my time with the poor guys if he's he anyway beat me the first game I think so why he's asking for this I don't know seems like he's a quite strong player too I'm not joking that's why you know guys that's why a little before uh that's why a little before I was uh, blocking my settings to not able to chat with the people. And you see why, maybe. Now you see one of the reasons why it's like that. Uh, what's the picture? Oh, yeah. It's a caricature. I wanted... Okay, let's let's make a sac sacrifice and let him to win. Request Gambit. Okay, wait. Okay, push here. Am I able to take just him? Hmm. That's not a checkmate. Interesting. Hmm. I have bishop h7. He's not able to go there. But if there's a king f7, queen h5, maybe. There is no checkmate by the knight because this knight on c6 is the blocker. People come here, keep some pressure. It's good. We could bring the other knight. Ah, oh, check killer here. I'm dreaming for a checkmate. It is bishop g6. Okay, let's come first here. Let me, I can come in top 16. Wow. I think there are only about 10 prizes. I, actually, I didn't check out the prizes a long time ago. Uh, but what he just uh, asking for is uh, totally sense. He was asking at the last minute for a win. I will not report him, but I will just block him. It's very, very toxic sometimes. Very toxic. <clears throat> hey, Oz. How are you doing? Yeah. Well, he, I think he beat me the first game, so it should be a problem to focus enough of the game, not think about money or qualification or whatever. And if he qualify, what? And if he won 20 euro, what? What will change this? His habits, his behavior is bad, you know, uh, to ask for this. I think uh, this is this is bad. And now there are about 40 seconds, so we should play in a bullet style to finish the game. I will announce the tournament first, and then we can go to check out what's up with 960. And uh, this is my strategy. Check out some more uh, tactics. Well, this guy, yeah, ju just just uh, play for fun, but yeah, uh, okay to checkmate him even in next 16 seconds, because he's making a fun too. Because uh, there are about 10 seconds, yeah, he, he got 2 minutes and 10 seconds too. And now, he doesn't really have a choice. That's it guys, that is it. Here. The arena is over, the 2 hour arena is done, right? So, now what's up? What we have next guys is going to be uh, obviously the, the knockout. So, uh, we gotta get ready for that. So, we are gonna take a quick break guys and set everything up. Make sure you guys are, are, are sticking around. This is uh, Arena Kings week 7. We are about to have the knockout portions. We just got to get the 16 streamers, and then we're going to get going, guys. So let's uh, let's get that up, and uh, we'll be right back in a few minutes, guys. So don't go anywhere.
Yo, what's up, chat? So games are starting. Games are going to be starting in a, in a moment here. As you see, we can see what's up, on, what's up on the screen there. 16 player knockout. We got some new players, actually. Some people that probably never made it to the 16 player knockout, but that's because a lot of players aren't playing. A lot of like min lane or it's easy. Some heavy hitters and GMs that play didn't play today. So it gave a chance for a lot of other players to play. Game should be starting uh, momentarily here, and we're going to see some matchups here. These are best of three. So if you get too old, you're out. Start a new game. You out of there. It's uh, you. You're gone. You're done for. You're done for. Chess Brainiac, thanks for the raid, young fella. Waiting for the games to start. Chess Brainiac, what's up, bro? Thanks for the raid. Thanks for the raid. We had a in first round. Was there anybody big? I don't remember any like super action in the first round. Okay, well, we are waiting though. Chess Brainiac with a raid. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Jasmine got first in the arena. Looks like Zagoko finished in second. And Mr. Bober here got third. Interesting. Okay. What's up, chat? How you doing? Hope everybody had a great tournament. Hope everybody's doing well. Games up. Hold on. Interesting. Um, should be coming up any second, guys. Let me make sure. I thought they was working. Did anybody know? Let me check. Are they supposed to be playing right now? Jospom. Follow. Jospom. There it is. Okay. There they go. Renato's playing Rodrigo. Ooh, that's going to be rough. I mean, at least you get a chance to play him, right? You know, 1588. It's versus 2902. Come on, man. Dang. But at least he gets to play him, though. You know what I mean? Let's see. If there, is there anything? Ah, this is more level. This is more level. This is more level. Okay, Amelia, what is this? Uh, Kings Indian Attack? Something Kings Indian Attack-ish. I think he played it in a weird order, too. But here we go. What White's idea here is to play h4, knight d2, knight f1. It's going to be very simple. We're just going to try to go for mate. But his king is not committed yet. e5 is actually a very committal move. And the problem here is that because he played e5, black actually can go queen side. Believe it or not. h6, he might even he might even play g5. But a g5 is going to be answered with h5. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, there it is. h5, right. So now we're going to play g6, but we're not casting this way, right? Now he's saying a5, right? He's saying, okay, cool. If you're not going to castle, I'm going to be ready for you. He was trying to play b4 there. Plays b5. King is in the center. But this is probably good. I might still go this way, knowing how I like to play chess. I'm still going this way. I'm going to castle queen side. He plays knight b6. The idea of maybe opening up the diagonal. Okay, uh, knight e4. He just went back, kind of closing the diagonal. I mean, it's a huge diagonal for black here. Huge diagonal to be on. Oh, that's a pawn ski? Hold up. Can you get away with this? Feels like something's wrong. What about knight takes, queen takes, and then bishop f4? Queen here. Is he just okay? Interesting. I mean, it feels like something's there. It feels like that's wrong. Takes, takes, bishop f4. And then queen f5. Only move. Only move, bro. Only move, right? After queen f5, g4. No, he takes the bishop. I think he got away with that. I mean, I saw this, but he's going to take here. But this is, he just rook bh you, like. And so what, right? And I and I take the pawn on the way out, says Emilio. That's what he does, rook b8. And then maybe check and king e7. And maybe his king is weirdly placed on d6. Oh, but he gets the pawn back. He doesn't go for that. Oh, is this just crushing? This is gg. Oh, my goodness. One move, easy. Check, he could have did check first then. No, but then king e7. Yikes. That was gross, bro. This is why you can't go pawn hunting like that, right? Sheesh. That was over instantly. We have a London here from Emilio. He needs to win, by the way. 2-0, he's out of there. 
Two always out of there. We're gonna take a look at uh oh chess heroes made it. Yikes, man. Jeez. Man. Oh my goodness. Chess Heroes is playing X DPS. Now look at this position though. Wait a second. Hold on. How? Who's winning? Hold on. Let me turn the engine on. This feels kind of weird. Black is crushing right now. Black is absolutely destroying him. How is this even possible? Chess Heroes is absolutely dismantling this Grandmaster right now. It is minus 10, according to the engine. Wow. Oh, we got to stay right here. We got to stay right here, big dog. Oh, my goodness. What happened? How did we get here? Let me, let's just take a look at how did he just get his head cracked like this. Mr. I, that's what I'm saying, Mr. Crucial. We have to see what happened. So first off, we know what not to do. And secondly, oh, he just, would you, what? Wow, look what he fell into. He played F3, bro. He just blundered F3, thinking Chess Heroes was some chump, some garbo chump from the other side. And then he hit him with the check and flex real hard on him after Knight takes G3. But don't you have Queen F2, which he plays and takes? He took with the pawn. Wait a second. There's a check on it on C1. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is this? And then takes check. Oh, he takes the rook. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? <laughs> what the heck was that? Wow. Let me turn the engine on. Yeah, this is just winning for black. This is just winning because he could do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. And white is getting mollywopped right now. White, bro, it's, it's made in nine. I can't make this up. The engine says it's made in nine. The engine. Just... <laughs> oh my goodness. This, this should count as two games. This should count literally as two games. If I'm Chess Heroes, this right here counts as two games. He getting crushed. He is getting smashed. There is no way he's coming back from this. The GM is not coming back from this. I don't care who you are. Ain't no, look at the time. Queen takes, king takes. Okay, conversion is looking a little shaky there. A little shaky. I am I'm concerned. I'm actually very concerned now. Mr. Kusha, I'm very concerned right now. I am very concerned. Oh, my goodness. Here it comes. Oh, wait a second. F3. Oh, he almost got him. Rook H2, king G1. He's trying to close it out. Everything's silent right now. Everything like <laughs> you can hear a, a pin. You can hear a pin drop. You can hear your breathing. You can hear breath in the air. No, he's not. He's going to do it. He doesn't even know his hands are shaking. His hands are probably shaking right now. Oh, my goodness. He does it. He beats the GM. It is going down, clown. Wow. Chess Heroes is a hero. We got to stay right here. We got to stay right here. We can't even go nowhere else. We can't. He might take down XDPS. Might go down there. This is a must-win situation for the GM, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Wow. Chess Heroes with the dub. Okay, well, you could get a draw, though. If he draws, then it will be one more game because it's best of three. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, GM's blunder, too. Dang, took them points from him. He got hit very hard there. He got hit very, very hard there. That's crazy. Cardiac, I know that's crazy, right? Plaster Hippie. That was nuts. I cannot believe he did that. He beat him, bro. He beat him. So now, you know, the confidence is there. Well, shoot, you know, all I got to do is close this out. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Well, all I got to do is close this out now. I just got to beat the GM. 
the 2784 GM another time. Right. 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 Knight H2 is an interesting move. Um, but obviously it hangs the rook. Your idea here is you want to get rid of this. Knight G5 actually doesn't work. He just takes on D1. Knight takes looks cool. Right, but maybe you could go knight e4. Oh, yeah, you can just take twice. You just take twice. Take on d1, knight takes h7. You take back here first. And then after knight takes f6, we just finish up in exchange. You take on c2. So now you get rid of bishop. Yeah, and that's gg. And then he takes, and you just down in exchange for now. Oh, excuse me. Uh, whole rook. Forgot. Yeah, he took both of those. He took a rook and a bishop. So, yeah. I mean, this is a, just a resi. This is, a, this is a hard resignation here. Why are we still pushing these pieces here, bring big fella? Big fella. Yep, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, cardiac. Yeah, he, he jumped off the deep end there. All right, let's run it back, he says. All right, cool, cool. One more. We got to stay here because this was just insane that he beat him. So we got to see, as you see, some two O's around the board every, everywhere else, some, some twos and lots of ones. And this one is a heated match. My leg, exactly, cardiac. My leg. Bishop b3, knight c3, okay, nice little Roy here, nothing new, it's a Roy, it's a Roy, okay, a3, bishop g4, bishop b3, knight d4, we take with a bishop is the whole idea, we just take, yeah, and knight d5, yeah, knight d2 is playable too, it does damage the structure, knight f4, oh, he can take, okay, I wonder if knight f4 h3 was good though. Like keeping pieces on here. g3, queen g2, f4 is nice. Just tuck and roll. Or you could go queen e2. Queen anywhere really. Any any one of these squares. a4, okay, that's Roy Lopez for real. Grab that space. Look how strong this bishop is. c4 is super annoying. Did, did he just c4? Did he just not miss? Oh, bishop a2, I guess. I mean, this rook's kind of stranded, though. Right, he attacks it. What is he doing? A uh, rook here, okay. But then rook here. He on his head right now. He on his head, bro. He's really on his head. Now, maybe maybe there's rook takes, takes, and e5. Then take and take on f6. That's crazy. He gets this. I mean, there's weaknesses around the king. Because I was hitting the rook there in that line. That's kind of strange. Possible. Knight d7. With the idea of maybe knight b8, the idea of rook a3 is going to be parried with uh, this b4 threat. So it's, it's super annoying. And you have to keep moving the rook around. Maybe it's possible, though, because after you go rook a4, this pawn's hanging. So it loosens this, which opens the diagonal back up. So maybe you do need to go rook a3, bait into b4. Play rook a4 so you can play b3. Um, if this is attacked, I mean, this is a nasty line. But if I go b3, the bishop's trapped. Woo. Because uh, th this is a lot of back and forth here. He's trying to figure out what to do, though. After knight d7, I mean, look at this. Like, look at this. It's it's strange. It's very strange for the pieces. Rook a8 again is still a very strong move. It attacks the rook, which is connected to the bishop. After you, Kate, are you gonna put the queen on b1 or a1? Absolutely not. You're gonna play bishop to b1 probably. What did he play? Black played knight e5, and there's bishop b1 anyway. Just anticipating it. But look at this bishop. C3. What a move. Highlighting that bishop grossness. Now we're going to have to put it here. I mean, he pushed in tight. Rook takes d6, so he did just hang a pawn there. But, I mean, playing very, very good. Very underrated player, as you see, right? Hanging with the GM. Swinging back and forth. Blow for blow. Queen e1. He just, well, he just said in-game, anyone? I mean, I probably would have played h4, h5. Queen e1 is totally fine, though. I mean, you don't have to trade, actually. And that's what he goes for, queen b2. He could have left the queen there, too. Probably is not the greatest. Controls this bishop, though. Look at how bad this bishop is. You have e5, h4, and here. Here, you, it responds there. I like this move for e6. f4 is a little bit risky. H4, not as risky, and it also threatens to loosen the king. And then maybe try to get the queen around. Knight goes c7, rook d7. He really trying to get the, get the queens off, bro. Get the queens off, big fella. 
Love your chess com and game recaps. Thanks, Pranav. Thanks. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. H4, H5. Right now, we're even on the dark squares. Queen G5, okay, but you get kicked away. This is the problem. But H4, H5, though. I guess maybe the B3 was the thing. So he wanted to get off of that. Now he hits Rook C5, and now he can play H4, H5 again. But he, you, you are going to get kicked away. <laughs> Bro, get the queens off. He trying to trade so hard. I would just play queen a1 just because. Let's see if he plays it. He, he's trying to trade so hard. I'm just going to play queen a1. Right. This is a draw. I think white's better. <laughs> there it is, too. White's better. I didn't know a 1900 plays like this. And, of course, you, you never underestimate a rating, Diego. Never underestimate a rating. That's the first thing. Sometimes, I mean, maybe, maybe some of the lessons paying off. Maybe he has, doesn't play enough blitz. Many factors. White Carol banned. Uh, something. Uh, did something. Doctor disrespect stuff. Whatever. 96. H5. H6. He'll be back though. He'll be back in like two days. H6. There it is. Finally got what the, we got the plan right. We got the plan. But I mean. Yo. He might. Hold on. He's going to. Look at the time. Wait a second. Okay. This is getting out of hand. I don't know who's going to win this game. And that's crazy to even say right now. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. He could flag him if he speeds up. Oh, he got queen h6. Oh, no. He mating. Oh, my man's mating. Oh, yes, yeah, a rapster. Yeah, he mating. He, he's he, Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Wait a second. Is this a draw? Is black just winning? No, it's probably some type of draw. Unbelievable. He's going to have to take a perpetual. Oh my goodness. Eight seconds? He's going to have to take a perpetual. I can't believe it. Chess Heroes is pushing very tight here. He is playing the strongest chess you have ever seen. Wait, wait, wait a second. There's mate. Oh my goodness. He lost. Oh, he stepped on the wrong square. If he would have played King G8, he was fine, I think. And he blunders in time trouble and loses. Oh, nasty. He had to go like King G8. Dang, bruh. That's how chess is. It's a very hard game, man. It's a very hard game. But very rewarding when you do things correctly, obviously. Wow. Yikes. Well, of course, that was the first set of games, guys. We're going to take a short break and be right back with the next set of the knockouts.
Okay, guys, next set of games are set to start. Actually, they're starting right now. Okay, as you see on the screen here, this is the same thing. 2-0. You get 2-0, you out. Best of three here. We have uh, Renato here, and we also have Zagoko playing too as well. So, obviously, we got some very, very strong chess here from these big fellas here. What is this opening? Oh, he played some strangeness. Type of Benoni-ish. Ish. Bishop on G7, though. White has the space. Typical stuff you might see in King's Indians as well. Pretty nice. Uh, what do you do? Council? Okay. So white has the space. I'm a big fan of having a space. I actually would have probably went queen side. That's just me. That's just the style. Wow. Huh? What? I'm confused. Was they not? Why would they? You know what? We just gonna move around. We just come back to that. They took a draw there. <laughs> I don't know why. I have no idea what happened there. We just gonna watch these boys play it out though. What is this though? Why? What on earth? Can, where did this come from? What is this? Is this theory? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Yo, what on earth is this? Queen D three. Lost some time doing nothing. That was kind of crazy. Thanks, Gata. Thanks for the raid. Knight goes to e7, and then uh, Jospam's in the think tank here. Trying to figure out what to do. You want to get this check in, though. He plays bishop back. I mean, that allows d5. There it is. f3. Ugh. I mean, ugh, right? Look at the center. Like, what? Where is your center, bro? You don't even have one. This is terrible for white. What advantage do you have as white? Right? Besides having, I mean, I got the first move. You know, I get to move first. Doesn't look like it. It does not look like it. Black has development. Black has two pawns. Now we might have something. At least some type of play. On the hanging pawn structure is what they'll call this. Maybe queen b3. At least it keeps the uh, the the pressure up. Queen c2 also does as well. Hits g6. Bishop b5. He wants trades. Okay. He wants trades. Fine. Ninety six. And uh, c c one's hanging. So we have to do that first. He deals with it. Takes. Ninety six is not playable. Queen d7. Maybe queen back. That's what he plays. Queen c2 would have been hitting g6, but runs into a pin with d4. That's a good move. That's a good move. That is a good move. That's annoying. Ooh, that's scary. That is very scary. Wow. <laughs> I mean, hey, look, Sandra playing real good right now. Uh, g2 is hanging. How do we deal with this? King f1, rook g1? I don't know. Castling feels like he is a queen g4. He played g3, knight f5, knight e2. Ugh. This is ugly. This is an ugly position for white. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Yo, the underdogs today, you know, chess heroes hitting the GM. Josh from getting hit with haymakers. Look at all these pieces. You get, I mean, rook takes h2, knight takes h2, you hit the rook, you got to move the rook, I go back. Make you move the rook again, then rook h2. I mean, this is typical, right? It's typical, huh? It is just, yeah, typical. Typical 2200 out playing the GM, open exchange. Knight takes f1, and then just look at you real crazy. Rook h1, give me all your pieces. Give me all of your pieces. Give me all of your pieces, Jospam. Oh my goodness. Give me all of your rating, Jospam. What on earth happened? What on earth happened today? I don't know what the uh, underdog's been eating, but they've been eating very well. Nothing works. Knight of six doesn't do anything. He goes for it, though. He goes for it. And he offered a draw. <laughs> that was classic. That was pretty good. He offered a draw. He, he like, took it and it was like, hey, man, you know, I'll offer the draw. Hey, bro, you want to draw? Because he, he knows it's not a draw. He's offered it. Just in case he might want it. 
Everything is fine. King e8, queen g6. Hold on, don't mess this up. Uh, and that's it. You can resign. Where's all your pieces, Jasper? It looks like Jasper playing black, right? If you came to this screen or to the stream for the first time, right? Oh, yeah, Jasper playing black. No, bro, he's playing white. No, bro. He playing white. He better win this game with black, though. Or he's out. Or maybe a draw. Maybe a draw. I mean, he just got wax there with the Nimzovich. Let's see what happens. He definitely got to bounce back hard that one. That was a very hard hit. Hmm. This is a... Uh, why, why the GMs? <laughs> Diego, right? Exactly. Why are all the GMs getting, <laughs> getting swung on today, bro? <laughs> Can't believe I played so well today. Big fella, we saw you plus chess heroes. There's something in the water. There's something in the air today. The GMs are getting swung on for real. I just returned from OTV. I did too, man. I did six and a half out of nine. Half a point away from a norm. Then I beat my first GM on in January. So, like, every tournament is getting better. Whoo, man. It's a, it's a year. Everybody's doing well. Great job, bro. Great job, big fella. Four, four from seven. Four out of seven. Is that what you mean? Four out of seven. That's your tournament. Queen A5. Bishop d2, queen back to the a. Okay, all right. All right. You want to draw? Don't look that good for black. It's less space. Less space. You need norms and rating for now. I am nor half point missed. That's it. Time to mic. I, if I would have got seven points, I would have got an I am nor. I went up about 100 points, though. Between FIDE and USCF, so like combined, so like 50 50. But I think it was like 60 30. Like 60 points FIDE and 30 points uh, USCF. Queen A6. Six takes. Bishop C6, E6. I mean, black is. White's doing really good, bro. Thank you, Chess Heroes. White's doing really good. Oh, man, I know Tundra might happens, but I've learned. Man, never will happen again. B5, that's a good move. It's a great move. I mean, of course, it's Joss, but it must still be draw, though, if he takes everything, which he does. A4, interesting. Yeah, we could just make him back it up, which he does. Knight B5, Queen B7, B4. B4. Oh, A4 is hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't play B4. A4 is hanging. Idea maybe E6. Knight F6. Ooh, takes and takes and Bishop H6. He's trying to bait him into playing E6. Look at that. That's a strong move. Bishop G5. So he said, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. But now, I mean, look at the C file and I have a pawn in your half of the board. Who offered to draw there? Jocelyn declined. <laughs> Oh, Sundrum, like, do you want to draw? <laughs> do you want to draw? Like how he did last game to him. Wow. Let me see. Is there, uh, anything else updated yet? Yeah, they're still duking it out. Everybody is, it looks like. Okay, definitely back that up. Correct. H6 looking good. Check. Rook C5 in some cases. Stopping it now. B4, no Rook C5. H6, Bishop got to move. Rook c3, boom, there it is. Uh-oh. And we get an activity. And when you get activity, things start to happen. Rook e8 is going to be nice for the position. Bishop f8, he defended because queen takes e7, not bishop takes e7 was coming. Doubling the rooks, we have activity. And now we're on to the seventh rank. And black is taking initiative here. Initiative means time and activity. Rook a2 hits the pawn, threatens to double. He plays queen d7. I mean, he hits a4. You still could do the same. And threaten to double. There it is. Rook a2. Threaten to double. Rook a1 probably could be a move. And that is not a move, big fella. That is not a move. Rook takes a4 or doubling. He snapped those. And the bishop is hanging. I'm up a pawn. Black's got the c file. This is a win for Jasper. Maybe. I was just going to say this. But I mean, he could. <laughs> I can't even say it fast enough. Bishop a1. Exactly. And this is super annoying. Which, I mean, you could do Bishop G7. But he can't get to you yet. Rook somewhere. Oh, shoot. That is hanging. 
Everything must go sale. Can we get it off the board? Queen C5. All right, Rook C2. Might as well tempo move. I could talk, I could take on F4 too. Rook, Rook takes F4. Wasn't that a move? And there we go. Pigs on the seven. That's what the names of his calls it. So, you know what's funny? We have queen takes h3, but we have to try to bait him into this. But it's very hard to get that to work. But if he moves his queen away, we have queen takes h3 and rook h2 mate. It's like a cool mate, right? Maybe check. Okay, oh, he back with the queen. Queen e6. King, okay, he moved back. Yeah, he, he's not letting that happen, it looks like. Oh, he did. Queen h3, there it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> he set it up nicely. Queen e3. Queen e3, bro. He said, hey, bro, trade. And as soon as he moved off, I was telling you it was there. He was trying to get queen h3 in. And he just kept staying around it. Oh, that was great. Queen h3, what a move. Tactics win games. All right. So um, now we have a better Nimzovich here. Because the first time he got absolutely smacked, him meaning Jospin, actually, with the white pieces. But now, as you see, he has a pawn in the center. Black had, like, four pawns in the center, and the F pawn was gone. So that's to tell you how bad his center was for white. There was a draw offer. Jospin declined. Hunter was smart. Yeah, he playing good, huh? Ace three. Okay. Rookie one. Hitting e6. Any twos anywhere? Okay, looks like International Master 1 over there. Sugoko 1. And then Jospin is duking this one out. And Renato is still playing. Oh, that's a pawn. Did he just hang a pawn? Did he just drop it? I think he just dropped it. That's not good at all. It looks like Renato just won. So. Ronaldo's moving on as well. I think, he, yeah, yeah, this is a wrap. I mean, look at White's pieces. Do you think there is any chance, right, of Black getting, uh, being able to save this, right? Look at the bishops. The pieces look good. I mean, you don't, your queen and your pieces all on the back rank. You can't move anything. This one's going to be over pretty soon. 90, look at 95. Look at this. 95 is a double pin. Oh, my goodness. How do you get double pinned? Do you see this? 90, 95, that's a gross move. Oh my goodness. Oh, everything pinned. Everything pinned. Bishop e8, best move. Put the bishop on e8. Yikes. Don't try this at home, Jack. Never try this at home. So he takes it. He says, I'm going to take the compensation. I guess he's getting some material for it. Knight f3. Oh, he, he gives it. He did queen takes. Oh, and then bishop takes. Oh, Jospin, that was nasty. Queen takes f3, and then bishop takes b7. Now I get the piece back, and you didn't get all that material you thought you was about to get. Now I just go up a clean piece. I could take with the bishop, right, which he does. Rook takes f2. That's fine. Maybe bishop e7, rook f1, even cleaner. The cleanest way. Rook f1, bishop e7. Right, bishop e7. Don't hang anything. There it is. He stopped it. No pre-move on that. Rook at fate wins too. And there it is. Jospin with the win. Wow. Jospin moves on. Well, that's everybody. Looks like all the twos and everybody's finished out their games and stuff. Well, we're going to take a short break, guys, and move on. And then we're going to move on to the next knockouts, guys. So we'll take a short one, and uh, we'll be right back after this.
All right, guys, we're back, and the game should be up uh, momentarily. As you see on the screen, we got Jospin versus um, Chess Lover there, and then we have uh, Zagoko versus Imai Terrible. All right, so game time, guys. Games are about to be up. Here we go. First match is Jospin versus Chess Lover here. Azerbaijan is uh, where Chess Lover is from. E4, C5, got an open Sicilian. Oh, okay, well, maybe not. Sort of C3 Sicilian ish. I'm a big fan of it myself. I actually like the Alapin. Bishop E5 check. Uh, this line I don't like necessarily because we give up the light square bishop, which you can use as an asset to attack many times. Interesting. Knight E5 hitting the queen. What's up, Celso Dine? I see you in the chat. We in here. 97. Nice C3, rookie one. Bishop G4, F5. Bishop G5, I mean. And F4. Yeah, th this stuff's like super equal. Ooh, takes, takes. Knight takes. Okay, did he? Three, six, three, four, five. So I'm up a pawn. Is it clean? Yes, it is. I mean, but it's kind of hard to convert it. It's hard to convert it. Bishop d6. We also have Zagoko playing. Let's just check in on their game. Zagoko and Renato. Bishop b6, last move. Castle. Okay, cool. Kind of looks like almost. Well, I mean. It's not an Alapin, but you do have the isolated pawn like we saw in the other game. Three, six, same amount of pieces. Everything's the same besides the isolated pawn. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, he made that move. I was like, did I do that? He played actually before in his position. Or not. Maybe not. Maybe I did do that. That was strange. Okay. All right. Castling, queen d2. Pawn went backwards there, as you see. Pawns do go backwards sometimes. A6, bishop to d3, and rookie one. This reminds me of an Alapin. But you, you, it's not a lot to play for right now. This is not a lot to play for. Yeah, Tom, what up? Bishop c2. Bishop g4 is automatic. It can hit the knight, but you also are hanging the pawn. So maybe maybe we like go here or... Best defense is offense. So I do want to kind of do something. I didn't really want to defend it, but I guess he was like, whatever. Whatever, right? I'll keep the pawn and maybe put the rook behind it. There it is. Because this I wasn't using this rook anyway. That's kind of annoying. He's doing why he's doing everything he's supposed to is with an isolated pawn. You put the pieces in front of it, right? And then you trade the pieces that defend it. So he's trying to get that bishop, right? Look at the do doubling of the rooks. I mean, white is favorited, but black has a bishop here. And yes, okay, I have the bishop here, but white has this isolated pawn. We're also controlling the square in front of the pawn. Black could also just, I mean, always trade this off and make it super equal. So now we both got the same pawn. But the problem is black actually has his pawns on light. So actually, this could be a disadvantage going into an endgame. Believe it or not, this small little thing could deter you from going into an endgame where you could be just slightly worse and white has targets. So you would have to try to move these to the dark squares and this would be the only target for white, really. So if you get your king placed well enough, you might be okay as a draw. Interesting. Who is chess lover? Mohammed Muradli. 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 Yeah, you know what, Mohammed? Bishop d1. I guess he. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is what we was talking about. Right, right, right. I was like, what's this for? Bishop d1 is going to f3. Pretty. It's an obvious move. He wants to put the bishop here and put pressure. Then he. Uh, oh, I mean, sorry. Uh, put pressure on b3. b3. The same idea, though. We want to put pressure on this pawn. So eyeing it. Maybe we move. Hold on. Reroute? This is coming. It's blacks to move though. But this reroute, okay. Maybe we're not moving nothing. Maybe we're just gonna take a draw. Did that other game finish yet? They're still going. Okay, we're gonna come back to that. Jospum and Chess Lover still going at it. Three, four, five. White still up this pawn. Remember, we had that isolated pawn. That white is up. So honestly, I mean, this could be converted into a win if we start trading pieces. I mean, the right at the right moments. Obviously, that's advantageous to us. Um, having the white pieces, we do have this extra pawn. 
But if you trade at the wrong time, for instance, rook takes e7, knight takes e7, it's going to run into knight b5. And then it's harder to get this pawn rolling. Now it's kind of rolling. Here we go. The piece is rolling. Spink, spink. There we go. Knight e4. Bring the pieces in closer to me. d6. Might as well push them. Pass pawns. Must be pushed. There it is. d7, rook b1. Everything is harmoniously working. Okay, he's going to play like something d7. He blocked, defended that first. Knight e6 looks good. Uh, d7 anyway. Could have played d7 anyway and hope for knight f6, but no, of course. We have to play this accurately. Defend the pawn. How do we get in there now? How do we get in there? We just expand. That's what he says. Just expand, grab some space. And he's going to slowly fall here. D7? Oh, okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. He does it anyway, but I mean, what? You know what? It's like it, it, nothing. Kind of got nothing out of that. Maybe he's just maybe it's just time. Definitely worked because he's running out of time. But he didn't really get much out of this, right? See what I mean? I mean, look at this. And now I'm like, oh, he hung his rook. Oh my goodness, he hung the whole thing. Four seconds. He hung the whole rook. Played great. Almost a draw. Instant KO. Instant KO. One for Jospin. One for Jospin. These are best of three once again. Oh, and then we're down to a time scramble with Renato. Zagoko is extremely fast, but six seconds may not be enough time, even though Zagoko is extremely fast. Look at the dirty flag he's trying to do. And what I mean by dirty here is, as you see, he's trying to flag him, knowing that this is a dead draw. This is the dirtiest of the dirt here. Filthiest of the filthy. Right, two seconds on the clock. This shouldn't be allowed, but it is. And he pushes the pawn, right? Look how he's going to flag him. The art of flagging here. This is called the art of the flag. And Zagoko loses in a position that you can't lose in. A draw. And he loses on time. Yikes. You do anything for a win. A win is a win. Right? A win is a win. And Renato takes it. He's like, I don't care about none of the ethics around here. Draw nothing. We're going to win this one. <laughs> By any means necessary. And he gets the win. He gets the win. This is a must-win situation, it looks like, for Zagoko. I mean, actually, okay, you, you have a draw. You do have a draw. I mean, like, you can draw. Interesting pawn structure I have here. I was just going to say, can we break with this... I mean, it changes everything drastically. Okay, take, take, take with the pawn. Bishop moves, and we got to, exactly, we got to push. And now, what do we do? Where do the pieces go? Question is, where do the pieces go? Let's just develop, he says. Just develop, makes sense. Queen e7, after captures, captures. Okay, that's pretty good. He wants to maybe put something on c4, which he does. Goes b3, knight b2, put the piece on c4. You might see a b5. But, I mean, these pieces are kind of clustered. They look good, but they only look good. They need to do something. We would love to get a knight to f4 or g5. I'm a big fan of that move. I also want to play king h8 and h5 and rook g8. h5 is going to be tender, though, for queen h5. So maybe just king h8, rook g8, and move the bishop to h6, highlight the rook, and play g4. Very nice idea. h6 is possible, but now the bishop can't go there anymore. Interesting. g4, though, is definitely a huge move. Huge move for black. Huge move. Even if you just let him take it, and you see the pressure on this with the rook here, and you just sidestep real quick with the king, move the knight, and I mean, you have a nasty attack on this knight. G4 almost is like, like you should you should let white, black take this, and almost knight. And you see now it does, it's not going to be the same. G4 doesn't respond the same anymore, because the queen's going to be there. Interesting. Oops, what happened? Oh, this is a game. What did he play? H5. Knight C4, he played H5. With the idea of G4. <laughs> but it's not the same. It is not the same. Take with the knight? Mm. I mean, it is better there. Yeah, it is better here. It is better right here. And D3 looks tempting, right? Very tempting move. He plays it. Uh, G4! And Bishop H6! There it is! Yeah! Yeah, big fella. Yeah, but he has bishop f4. There's tactics. 
And I smell the tactics. Pawn takes first. You can't allow g5. If you go bishop h6, there's g5. Very good. I mean, I think he can block. Weirdly enough, I think he can... Oh, that's a good move. Knight d4. But I think he can just block it with the bishop. Believe it or not. And literally, I have nothing. That's what he's saying. Zagolko's like, yeah, cool move, right? Cool. Looks great, but you have nothing. And I think that's correct. That's kind of crazy. Man, this is a wild position. You need a lot of time to really calculate everything here. <sighs> wow. Wow. Um, There's a check on g5. That's the problem. Or g4. So both of these are checked, though. And so he goes back e6? I mean, is that... Ugh, that's a scary move. Knight takes. Luckily, we were good. Whew. What a game. Let's move around real quick. Oh, my goodness. What is going on in Jossum's game? Where? What opening was this? Oh, this was that little modern thing. Is he down a piece? 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. No, he's not down a piece. So he didn't sack anything, and you have this kind of position? This is over, right? Knight h5, GG. Oh, my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. He has rook takes h2. Knight g3, king g2. Okay, so let's see it. Knight g3, rook takes h2, king takes, queen h4, king g2, queen check. Wait a second. I just played queen g5. I guess that wins on the spot too. Knight f5 wins instantly. And knight e2, same idea. Knight f5, king f2, queen g3, knight takes uh, d4. It's disgusting. Queen takes. Okay, that's... <laughs> I mean, hey, man, what? What is this, right? Really? 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 Okay. 92, king f2, rook takes h2. He's going to run for the heels. Whoa, queen. Oh, that wasn't mate. Oh my goodness, that wasn't mate. He has the mate square covered, guys. So for anyone that was thinking, he's missing mate. You would have blocked with your whole face there. Queen g1, actually, it's not mate. It's covered. What a square, right? Oh, you missed mate. It was not mate. And Jospin with the dub, two in a row. Wow, he's going to move on to the finals. And let's see who his opponent is going to be. Again, we are down to seconds here with Renato and Zagalko going at it. Rook 2 f4. No tactics. Queen g6 defends the knight. Feels like White's just... It feels like White's doing something because of his pin. Now we've blocked the pin. Ooh, that's a nice check. That's scary. We've got lots of threats around Black's king. Uh, this might be game over. This might be game over for um, actually Renato. So, which means they'll have another game left here. Let's see if we find any tricks. Four seconds. goodness he did it point one on the clock it is impossible it is impossible but it's possible point one point one he wins the game the game is made it's mates with point one on the clock he has zero point one and he mates him checkmate point one. Oh my goodness it makes him win this last game now he's still in the game he is still in the game i thought it was over i thought renato had him i thought renato was gonna hit him with the dirty flag and go into the finals. But no. Zagalko's like, I'm still here, big fella. I'm still here. Give me another game. Reset the pieces. Reset them. White to move. I mean, let's, let's, this is on white uh, well, for Renato. Renato to finish with the white pieces if he wants to make it to the final here. And Zagalko has to be quicker. You got to be quicker than that. Because he cannot allow. <laughs> he can't do that again. Renato must be feeling so am I terrible right now. That's right. Yes, that's not a move, so so. That was crazy. He made it him with point one. Ugh. That stings. G4. And now, if I'm Zagoko, like, I think initiative right now is in Zagoko's corner. Momentum. After that game, you're feeling good. Renato's like, oh, like, you're still thinking about that. This would be a good time for Zagoko to strike. 
But also Renato, if he can bounce back, he'll be fine. Knight takes c5 is a threat. Huge threat. He plays e5, stops it, but now that releases the d5 square. 0 0.1 mate deserves more than 4 crown. Yeah. Oh, man. That was just... <sighs> wow. Point 0.1. You rarely ever get those. Like, yeah, that's like playing with fire for real. Is this... Wait a second. Okay, something's wrong here. Something's wrong. Is You can take one of these pawns. Something's wrong with this file. There it is. Yeah, he blundered. A huge blunder. Huge blunder from Sigalko there. Huge. And I take C5. Is hitting D7. And also this. That was just a huge blunder. Renato might be going to the finals, big fella. Queen takes B4 for the score. Thank you. Okay, just move my queen. Literally just move. Or take on D7. Probably take on D7 might be better first. And then Queen C3. Because I'm hitting E5. And I'm also threatening to take. I'm also threatening this. I'm th I mean, you want me to draw more arrows, right? You know what I mean? Queen C3, hit him here, right? Hitting everywhere. This is crazy. Okay, I mean, I could take anything on e5. He takes with the bishop. I'm hitting this way. I'm going that way. I'm going every way. Okay, I mean, come on, wow. Dang. Sheesh, bro. Sheesh. Oh, my goodness. Everything must go. He just destroyed him here. This was just a bad game. This was a really bad game from Jagoko. He usually don't. It's usually not this bad, you know. Like, like he hangs for real. You know how strong Zagoko is. Look at his rating, right? This game was just a very bad one, though. Three six seven. What? Three six seven. <laughs> Yo, Black is down four pawns. That's insane. You're down four pawns. Aha, uh -huh, that's that's rare. That's very rare to be down four pawns. You know what I mean? Queen G six was the threat. He's on four pawns, big fella. This one's uh, rough. It's rough. Open king, but obviously the pieces defend very well. The queen's not doing much. I mean, it's hitting a2, right? Yeah, this is rough. This was a, kind of a simple one for him. Oh, his knight takes... Is this a move? Interesting. I think I can just snap here. I'm a big fan of sack first thing later, like Grandfather Tao would say. Snap those. Check here. Hey, go there. What do I do next? Check there. It's somehow I'm somehow mating you, bro. Maybe I check here then. Somehow you're getting mated. And then check. Now we check. Uh, okay, yeah, same thing, right? G5, queen a1. I guess it didn't really matter. Probably like five ways to win. Okay, all right, in game it is. In game it is. Oh, is it Goku streaming on YouTube? Okay. Don't hang the bishop. He doesn't. F3. And he's just going to clean this one up. It's just a simple end game here. He made it very simple so he doesn't hang anything or mess anything up. This one's going to be a wrap. Looks like it's going to be Renato and Jospin in the finals. Don't hang nothing, right? And there it is. Oh, he found a little Bishop A5 mate. Look at Renato finding Bishop A5 mate. Nothing else. And that is it. That is it, right? Now we have one more match, which will be 
an all Peru final actually, which will be Jospin versus Renato. After this, guys, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, here we are with the finals. The finals are up. We have Renato versus Jospin. Should be happening in any second now. And it's going down, guys. We're going to have a Jospin playing Renato in the All-Peru final. Here it is. Best of five. Best of five games, E4. Uh-oh. I wonder if he knows. Yo. Uh-oh. Renato, big fella. Hello. Hey, somebody home? Yo. My guy. Can we get a phone call? Can we get a buzz to him? Somebody ring his doorbell. Send him a message. Where is he? Where did the big fella go? Okay. Chess Heroes? I do not. Actually, that's a good question. All right. And, uh, yeah. So, how are y'all, chat? Cool. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm Yeah. We um we in the finals. You know. Yeah. 
E4 for the win. Hey, let's go. E4 for the win. He don't know what to do, boy. He don't know what to do. E4 got him tripping. E4 got him tripping. I'm telling you, dog. E4, best by test from Big Bobby. I know what it is, bro. E4. He moves G6. He didn't even know what to do. He didn't know what to do. E4, G6. It got him all off guard, big fella. Sheesh. He there. Yeah, he there. He had to think about, dang, he hit me with this. Dang, E4. I forgot what to do. Double exclamation. Yeah, he forgot what to do. Literally. He was like, bro, I forgot. I forgot what to do. E4, uh, that's a new move, boy. That's a new move right there. <clears throat> Look Renato already catching up on time, though. Oh, his clock is reset. Oh. I was about to say, like, wait, now they're even. <laughs> I was like, wait, 206. How did they? I was like, man, he moved so fast. That makes sense now. Clock was reset. I kind of missed that. So, okay, so bishop g5 hitting the queen. f6, bishop goes back to e3. He goes with the bishop, so he doesn't have to play f6. But sometimes you can play f6 and then slowly play f5 that way, but that does weaken the light square and the dark squares. Bishop e3, bishop e6, maybe some queen e2. Queen e2 is going to be knight f4. I prefer black here, actually. Strangely enough, uh, I can't get this knight to e3. I mean, what is my knight actually doing here? If I can't keep it here either. Hmm. Bishop f1, no, okay, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. There we go. Now we got a4, and we get to keep it there. So we're feeling a lot better about this position. But it's still uh, the, the plan. What is the plan? What do we do? Rick a to d1, he says go for some trades. Looks uh, natural. Very natural just to get some trades off. But fairly equal. I think fairly equal. They established themselves in the center. Right knights or pieces are right up into the rim here or up into um, the half point way, halfway point for either side. Nobody's just crossed into the other territory. Fairly equal. King h2, I like it. Prophylactic. Take, take. Maybe a knight g1. Knight d2. It's not necessary, though. I mean, we could just reroute something, right? Yeah, reroute. I don't know where we're going at. Maybe, maybe bishop b5. Maybe. Just doing something, right? There it is. Exactly. Just do something. Just do something. Queen d6, knight c4, maybe. Maybe we can try to grab the bishop here. That's a, that's something, right? Look at that. Grabbing the bishop here. Now, now we have something, right? This is how you, you know, poke around the position. Figure out what's going on. Queen b3 can hit the pawn. Maybe try to make some more weaknesses. Queen c1, I like it. Highlighting the fact that he went to dark squares. I have those on lock too. Even though you have a dark square bishop, which should be on g7, not e7. Um, because of bishop's finchetto, bishop h6. But there is a bishop f8 coming. And we're going to get rid of that very easily. Yes, we have the bishop pair, but still fairly an equal game, guys. Very equal. Very equal. I prefer the bishops, so I will take white because I am a fan of the bishop pair. Big fan of the bishop pair. Those are my favorite in games, in fact, are having the bishops. I hate having the knight. I'm usually the one that likes the bishop. I'm a bishop guy. So bishops are very sharp here. H4, I love it. H5, making some holes around the king. Trying to. If H5, we play G5. So knight, knight D2 runs into some F4 action. He moves off for the prophylactic idea. And he wants to play f4 eventually, but h5 is played. And if f4, there was knight g4 eventually, because it takes over the outpost. f3 is fire. Nice. Yo, thanks, words and chess. Appreciate it, big fella. Takes, takes, king f2. This looked like a draw. This looked like some type of draw. It should be, but I'm expecting. I'm expecting it to be that. But you never know, especially with Jocelyn low on time here. And we saw what Renato, I mean, yeah, what Renato Terry hit, do, do, uh, Terry did to Zagoko. And that bishop and pawn opposite color in game where he was to draw and he flagged him. All right. Okay, B takes A5 and look at that. Pass pawns must be pushed. Uh oh. Feels like we got something here. 
And that's a nice lockdown of the pawn. Keep it under lock and key, Aaron Nimsovich says that. Maybe we try to tuck the row, tuck and roll with the king now, but now we can't. Oh, going this way, trying to deal with two weaknesses, the principle of two weaknesses, trying to create another weakness on this side of the board. So now we might have two pawns to deal with. And h5, okay, he takes, takes, keeps the bishop active. We got to get the knight involved somehow, but we can't because the pawn's hanging. Might be just drawn. I don't have many moves. I don't have many moves. It's a very close game, right? I don't have many moves. And you see they're shuffling. Knight d5, knight g4. Ooh. Look at that. Making it a game. Making it a game. It looks like Jospom is the one that it has the potential to flag. Look at him trying to cut the knight squares off. Knight check. Very nice. And we start pushing. Pass pawns. Must be pushed. He could have went forward, I think. Clock, clock, clock. That is correct. His clock. He is in time trouble. The king is getting advanced here. And this is what happens when you got the two pass pawns. We got the king and all these pieces starting to work. Yikes. Here it goes. Here it goes. This is, uh, it feels like it's completely winning. He pushes the pawn. We take that one. There's another pawn. And now we got two pass pawns. Bishop Knight. This one's clean. Very clean win here. Renato goes down with an end game. Ooh, what an end game. This is best of five. Best of five. Let's see what happens. What? An end game there? Wow. What is it? Some, oh, it's a Trumpowski. I forgot he plays that. How did he play it? Oh, he went 94 D5, yeah. Sort of the London system route. Yeah, and now this is just super solid for black. We got rid of the light square bishop. I mean, black has no problems. White has a lot of development, though. And sometimes playing for more, or at least having more space, it feels like, in an initiative, but because they do have the e5 square, but that's about it. Whoa. What? Did he blunder? Was that a mouse slip? What happened? What was that? I think he mouse slipped. I think he mouse slipped. What on earth is that move? It doesn't do anything. I think he mouse slipped. He just dropped a pawn. Wow. I mean, straight dropped a pawn for nothing. That hurts. Bro, he's down a pawn for a low, no compensation at all. Yikes. Yikes. Especially against Jocelyn. We can't afford that. Now he's making it all annoying for you. C3. If takes, I take with the queen. I'm hitting this. One little mouse slip costs you, man. Hurts. I know I know you, you, you feel the pain too, chat. We've had our fair shares of that. I know I have. And those mouse slips do hurt. We're here together. We're all in here together for that. Rook F to D1. Okay, Rook E8 defending the bishop. Maybe he wants to move the knight, I'm assuming. It looks like maybe a knight D5. Take, so we can take with the rook. He still could go knight d5. He took with the queen. b6. No taking of anything. Black has a nice file. Queen c2. Okay, attacking the rook. If bishop takes f6, if you try to remove this rook, queen c6 says, please trade. Let's get a little trade off. What's the pawn count again? Three, four, five, three, six. Yeah, black says up a pawn. It's just a pawn. And it is a passed pawn on the queen side, which is usually better in end games. But I need to trade pieces off. And if I keep trading, he keeps well, he keeps dodging the trade, obviously. Here. Keeps dodging the trade. Knight d5, bishop takes e7. Rook takes e4. He didn't play it. Back the knight up. Or he brought the knight in, I mean. Queen c7 attacks the knight, right? He's thinking. He's in a think tank. I wonder what he's thinking about. He went queen c2. Okay. Queen c2, queen b5. No tactics? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice c3. So I have nice c3. So queen b4, you couldn't go to. Yeah, so he took, took. Okay. Now I need to get this rid of this knight. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Okay, knight f4, though. I'm good. Or knight c3, either or. 
Either or, he's probably going to check me and I run. I gotta be careful because he could try to double the rooks. And that's mating. Whoa, sheesh. Whoa, wait a second. That's very tricky. Renato has a plan of doubling the rooks. If he doubles the rooks down here, you like lose. He didn't do anything, but. Yeah, if he gets these. Well, okay, no. The knight covers g8 now. So we're actually fine. Wow, because now, now we're good. Rook check moves and double the rooks. You can't check on g8. Because of the knight. So that's good. Take, take. Joss from down under a minute. There are some mating ideas. Ideas. Rick C4. I go like Rick E2. Is that possible? Rick D2. Okay, same idea. Same idea. What I'm looking to do is like, I just don't want to trade, right? I just don't now double the Ricks? What? Oh, draw. What? Oh, wow. It is a draw. Okay. Dang. 97. What a move, Renato. That was strong. That was very strong. There's no mate. He's saying it's no mate. You're too far away. Your pieces are too far away. Mm, Rook D1. If Rook takes. Yeah, it's just a draw. Whatever. Wow. What a game. There were so many ups and downs in this game. This is just. This should be a draw. Wait. But wait a second. Look at the time. Jospin could be flagged here. <laughs> Just like how he did to Renato. He could be flagged here, if not careful. We have seen some crazy things happen right here. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Here you go. Here you go. Hold your breath. I feel it coming. Somebody is about to hang something. Oh. Okay. So far, so good. Didn't hang anything. Eight seconds. This is where it's starting to get crazy. It's starting to run out of time. I have no idea what's with that. <laughs> like, you're really holding your breath right now. Like, man, what's going to happen here? Yeah, he has no time. Point nine. It's out. It's over. He has no time. He has no time. Yeah, hung the rope. That's it. Classic flag. I mean, there's like, it's so hard to beat that, right? It's so hard to be that down on time and try to come back. Like, when you can be flagged. I mean, that's just an art to it. And that's a game. A win is a win. That's a one. And now we're on game number three. Of uh, five, by the way. He couldn't have taken it. Yeah, he couldn't. He just couldn't. I mean, like, there's a, well, he, he could have taken a draw like, if he wanted to, but he wanted to win. Renato wanted to win here, which we totally understand because, like, you know, you're in the finals. And now we're in game three and they have an even score. I am a fan. Okay, so you, I mean, you have to be. Look at this. Look at these bishops. These bishops. I mean, you have to be a fan of this. Uh, and the engine say this equal right now, but like eval bar makes it. Do I have it on for you guys? Let me turn that on. Let me show you guys the eval bar. Let me get that set up. Move that over here. Okay, perfect. So this is the eval bar. But I mean, you see the eval bar says it's equal, but man, look at the, I mean, if I'm white here, like, come on, come on. I just feel the pressure here. The eval bar like equal. This is kind of annoying because knight f four is huge. So you want to put like G3 in many cases, which is played. Yep, 94, might as well. He's just saying, you about to double. Let's just get some of these pieces off and stuff and worry about it later. And worry about it later. Doubling of the rooks, done. There, do we take or no? Mm, possible. He, play, he moved queen back to e2. Very even game. h4, h5, huge idea and possibility and putting the knight. 
on e5 at the right moment. Sometimes the tempo hitting the rook. Right. Exactly. Black's better, right? <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. But that's like, it's not by much. You know, see how it's going back and forth. There's no such thing as a dirty flag. Time is an element of part of the game, in my opinion. Actually, you're right. You're right, Tim Mike. But they call it dirty flag because it was like just how, how, of course, it's, and it's funny. Like, wow, completely losing, but you win on time. But it's part of the game. B4, hit the queen. This reminds me of like the Nims, what's that, uh, Nimzo Larson, the B3 stuff. That, that like, will you sometimes trade the light square bishop and you get these kind of positions? But black's usually fine here, which is the problem with these. Now, you do have a, 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 a like a nice asset here in the end game with the three versus two on the queen side, which is important. That's a move for you right there. What is he about to do next? What on earth is this? Is that the only move? That must have been the only move. <laughs> oh, yeah, queen f6. But this was like one of the only moves. That's why his queen went here. I was like, did he purposely do that? Well, he kind of had to. He kind of had to. It's not a fair way to win. No, it's a fair way to win, Tenema. That's crazy. Wow. I mean, win is a win, bro. Is it G5? Man, like this queen is so annoying, but you can't really get to her. And she actually can't do any more than what she's doing right now unless we get this in knight h7 knight f6 knight g4 but if you get the knight f6 i can take you also the knight covers g4 now knight goes to e5 attack the rook we're trying to push these pawns most likely good move stopping the pawn push bishop d4 influencing insisting on the pawn push great match absolutely to the mic great match Oh, wow. Apparently the engine didn't like that that much, but I mean, as a human, it looked great, right? Right, queen a6 is, is incoming too. Queen takes, gotta take, rook hanging, and so he moves it. I mean, what, a, like these guys are, are evenly matched, really? And look at that, the ratings are around the same, of course. 60 point difference. Both 20, over 2,900 though. <laughs> Jospin of time, that's a huge edge. Oh, that doesn't work, right? Wow, I was looking at this. If queen takes knight g5, and after queen e2, there's rook d2. Oh my goodness, there was a rook d2 there. Farah Mars, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was wondering why you didn't take it, but there was a, a lot going on. Nasty little sequence. Queen g2 takes, takes. Knight versus bishop, but I got the two. I got the two over here. I'm feeling white for real. Take, take. 19 seconds for Renato. Renato could be going down here. A harder in game to try to convert here. Also low on time. Very low. Very low on time. Very nice. Okay, I can feel it coming. Here it is. Someone about to blunder something. Oh, they both, they're close on time. Whoa, Renato caught up a little bit and got that extra pawn. Eight seconds. Check. Here we go. Six seconds. Checkmate, Renato with the save. Two seconds. Checkmates. Look at this. The knight covers the two squares. Rook T2 was mate. This is game four. Two, three. Now we on game four. Jospom needs to win game four. He was made it, bro. He was made it. Oh, wait, that's it. So first to three wins, right? That's it. Yeah, so Renato has to. I mean, Renato wins. This is it. Jospin wouldn't have a chance to come back. Yeah, Jospin needs to win this one. Just rewards on that game. Yeah, that was, man, Rook G2 made. 
He got the win out of that. That's why you always fight. Okay. All right. So what's going on in this game? What a match. Oh, man. What a match. And then Jospin is playing here. He needs to win this game to stay in it. But right now, it's already plus everything. What? Where did he go wrong? It's already... You see the eval bar losing his mind. Where did he go wrong? Out the opes. Out the open. Okay, it's back. It's back level now. But man, that eval bar was tripping quickly. Already losing, bro. Like, already losing. And, and I mean, I see it. They say you play H5 and just rip open the game. Yeah, you still can just play H5, rip open the game. Oh, you know what the engine's saying? You had to sack it. Yeah, that's what people are not seeing. Is bishop takes, g5, knight takes. Oh, that's crazy. And f7 apparently is too loose. Weird. Engine line stuff. Black castles, bishop to b5. Oh, that's a good, that's a good idea. This is a good reroute, too. I got made if I run out of once and if eval bar looks similar to this. Ah, nice fish eye. Thank you. Thanks for letting us know. H5. So I, he castles and then plays H5 with the rook file not there anymore. Hilarious. Queen to C8. Um, oh, what is this about? Oh, I guess stopping knight F5. I'm maybe trying to go, but there's bishop here. Ugh, this is just a ugly, like my pieces. You know what I mean? Look at my pieces. Look at my pieces right now, man. This is gross. Can you teach how to play chess? Chess.com can, man. Absolutely. Just go to chess.com, right? Start going through the lessons. Can I play? Oh, I can't play f5. I think I'm getting it. Yeah, he had, he had to deal with that. King h8. Now we're going to try to get f5 in. Man, look at that lock, that clamp on the f5 square. And the and your route to the F four square. Black's just shuffling, hoping I don't lose. Hoping I don't lose. Eval Bar says, "I don't know about all that. <laughs> I don't know about all that." Knight D four. Keeping attention. I like how he's keeping attention though. Black to move. He moves it around. I don't have many moves. Oh, he's going here. Okay, the little reroute. Queen F six. Maybe. And then 96. Nice. Look at that. Finally got some squares to work with here. It took a while. It took a while. Now he's probably ideally placed. Yeah, knight f4. There it is. Oh, that was insta bad. Like, instant garbage. Knight f4 was terrible. I mean, his position is so bad, right? I guess because of the, the uh, passivity of it, but... It, Sheesh, Eval Bar going crazy. What is going on? You know what? Just let them move. What's the what's the best opening? It depends on your style, obviously. I mean, some people say the London system's best opening, right? Or uh Queen's Gambit Decline, I guess it's up to you. Based off style and etc. too as well. Black up and exchange. Oh, that might be it. Jospin with a nice bounce back here if he gets this with black. Forty seconds for Renato. Yeah, he should just trade everything down, right? He should be fine. I think that's possible. Yeah, he just traded everything down. Believe it or not, look at how the Eval bar is saying this is not completely crushing yet. And they like in black, but you would think that the whole bar would be filled up. Look at that, right? That's crazy, man. Chess is such a hard game. Equals, do you see this? Zeros. What a weird game, yeah. That was a nice maneuver. Getting this knight to b5, and if we can push this outside past pawn, could be in trouble. Not possible, though. Yeah, not possible. 20 seconds for Renato. Uh oh. Not looking that great. What's that? It's going to help Jospin in the final game. 
Going to come down the clock. That's what it's looking like. Looking like a clock a clock game again. Looking like a clock. Oh, can I? Not necessary. Not necessary. There it is. Yeah, Josh was going to walk away with this one. He should, right? Yeah, you're just going to probably flag him. <laughs> man, he fast, bro. What? That man is so fast. Two and two. How long have you been playing chess? Uh, 22 years now? So 20, like, uh, like that is it. That's uh, 22 years, bro. A long time. But two and two and one more game left out of five. They should be playing one more. It should be rematching any second. Some close games. Two and two, right? One me, oh, who gets white here? I think Jospin does. I think Jospin gets white in the last round here. So we're waiting for them to start their last game there. Yeah, some close games, right? And this should be the final game. Unless they draw. Then we'll have some tiebreak stuff. All right, there it is. Last game. If someone wins, we have a French. Interesting. With the bishop g5, I was a big fan of this line. Bishop c1, play quickly. Knight e2, or what is he going to play? Queen g4 line. This stuff gets very, very uh, aggressive, to say the least. I think you play a3 anyway. You can, but you can also play a uh, knight e2, from what I remember. Knight e2, there it is. c5, a3. Correct. No, it's like never seen this one before. <laughs> We're not on just froze. A three, never seen it before. Never expected it. There it is. Bishop takes. Yeah, I'm a fan of taking with the pawn. I really am. I wonder if F. Wait, 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 wait. Doesn't that? Mm, no, he goes this way. He goes this way. So can I go h4? Uh-oh. h5 is scary, bro. You see that eval bar stripped a little bit? What if I go here? Oh, g5. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Queen f4, g5, you lose the queen. What on earth? You have to go here. You have to go queen h3. You don't have any other choice. f3 was a blunder by Jospin. Queen h3, yeah, is the only move. He blundered hard there. That was a hard blunder. This is what I was saying, like, h4, but... Maybe uh, yeah, he still could have played h5. That was a blunder. And now, Black's I mean, initiative is very strong. Gotta be careful. I don't like this for white. Ugh. We got knight on c3. Maybe develop bishop e3. Oh, but that's hanging too. Got another pawn hanging and the knight? You might have to just take it. But then he's just down. Like, this was just terrible. Like, what happened here? Now he's just down a pawn. And he's trying to fight his way back. How many queen moves did we make? Right? How many? Now, at least we have the bishop pair. So we can kind of use that. Or try to use it as an asset. There it is. Something something to work with. Maybe a4. Nah. I like this move. Queen f4. He has his idea was to go knight d4. We wanted to play a4 and then bishop a3. Stopping it. But this is better because knight d4 attacks c2. So we, we actually just kind of stop it all together. Okay, queen f4. Defending. Look at the time edge here that Jospin has. Even though it's kind of strange, engine gives us equals, as you see. I know some time here. Queen e7. Now a4? Wait a second. a4, bishop a3, he has c5. Hmm. c5, that's a good move. He plays bishop d3. Development first, okay. Castle next, makes total sense.
This is a tough position. Unbelievable. I mean, this is unbelievably tough. Unbelievably tough because I can't figure out what to do with the bishop. Wow, I played queen b4. Interesting. Pawn takes, takes, castles, bishop g5. Oh, look at the time deficit. Renato got to pick it up. He has to pick it up now. He has to pick it up now. Oh, getting low. Getting low. Getting lower on time. Queen b6. Maybe just move to queen again? Queen h4? I like queen h4. I like queen h4. But I can't castle, so maybe queen f4. Maybe queen f4. And then, and then try to play bishop e3. He played bishop g5. All right, queen's got to move. There it is. Queen f4 with queen f6 in tension. White got to be winning here, right? Got to be winning right now. Uh, he moves. Queen takes f7. What is he doing? Guess it. That's a freebie. Yeah, he could get. He could figure out how to get out of there. That's got to be. And he has 37 seconds here. Jocelyn looks like he's going to take down Renato here if he's able to close this out. C4. Nice move. He wants to castle. He wants to get his king out to center. Rook B8. Okay, Bishop B2 is a move. You got lots of moves. Rook D2 stopping it. Oh, doubling? Wow, doubling queen takes d3. <laughs> doubling rooks is a blunder, believe it or not. Queen takes, rook takes. Yeah, he saw that. Of course he did. Wait a second. Wait a second. You see the eval bar change? It was supposed to be h4 and queen takes e5. And he was somehow back in the game. 20 seconds here. Not happening. Don't get made it right. Queen takes e5 is the move because I guess you have to do something to open the bishop up. Okay, Rick f8 takes 12 seconds. No, yeah, there's no way. And he's down in exchange here unless he gets forked, which he almost did. <laughs> he almost did. I mean, he covered that square me nicely. This is looking rough. Bishop b2, okay, whatever. He's just saying I'm going to flag you. And then I'm going to use this, my king, take the pawns, go crazy here. Three seconds for Renato. Two and one. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Caught him off guard. And Jospam wins. That was a nice all Peru final there. But Jospam versus Renato Terry there. Um, looks like Jospam is the winner. He's the finals winner. This is Arena Kings week seven, guys. And that man won. Hope you guys enjoyed it today and enjoyed all the nice uh, all the nice games we saw today. All the fun ones. Thanks ton to Mike and all the mods to held it down. And for you guys in the chat as well, you can follow me at my channel. Congratulations to everyone that played, and especially to Jospam today, as he is the winner of Arena Kings Week 7, guys. So stick around. Uh, we will be going somewhere, so uh, raid somebody. So stick around, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.